Chapter 1681 Let me send you on your way translator. Born to be everyone. Don't be afraid. He's just trying to scare a rank 9 celestial was in the midst of shouting when a black light pierced his head. Instantly killing him. Idiot. In all my years of following boss. I've never seen him trying to scare people. Sneered Guo Ran. He was the one who had killed the rank 9 celestial. However. He was so fast that no one even saw him move before that person was dead. Following Long Chen's shout, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples charged out, excluding the Dragonblood Legion. They were like a flood slaughtering those experts. These were the elites of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and their opponents weren't even a match for them. Five Empyreans flew out from the Zhuangshan Dao sect, fighting the Empyreans of the other side. In a one against one, they fought evenly. The other Empyreans of the Zhuangshan Dao sect didn't fight. They were standing beside Long Chen. They didn't want to attack the other experts, and they didn't want to gang up on the opposing Empyreans. Even if they won, it would be meaningless. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, you've done it this time. You and your Zhuangshan Dao sect have nowhere to run now. Just wait to be destroyed, laughed the rank 9 celestial with the talisman in his hand. After laughing, he immediately crushed his talisman. His body rapidly faded and intense spatial fluctuations appeared, showing that it was clearly a teleportation talisman. Bastard, you tricked us, shouted quite a few experts in fury. However, just as the rank 9 celestial was about to vanish, space twisted again, and his body, which had almost vanished, reappeared. What? What's going on? That rank 9 celestial smile vanished replaced with horror. I said that this teleportation talisman of yours wouldn't be able to protect your life. Now, do you believe me? Long Chen looked at the shocked celestial indifferently. Your plan was to dupe a bunch of idiots into provoking me so that I kill them. And then that Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and the Xuan beasts would have a justifiable reason to kill me and destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect. I really suspect whether you people even have a brain. Do you think others are as stupid as you? The rank 9 Celestale's head flew into the air. He had no idea how his talisman had failed. I really hate these kinds of bastards. Tang Wan'er's hands came out of a seal. Just now, she had used a magical art to seal the space around the rank 9 Celestial and prevent him from fleeing with his talisman. She had obtained the wind inheritance of the Jade Lake Sacred Land. Her wind energy could now be silent and almost motionless creeping up on someone without them even noticing. That rank 9 celestial hadn't even noticed that he was already within the domain of Tang Wan'er's magical art. The rank 9 celestial's head exploded in midair, showering those below him with blood. Tang Wan'er's silent, invisible energy gave others goosebumps. Long Chen, we were tricked. We don't want to be enemies with you. Please, let us go. Seeing the situation immediately turn on them. People began to beg for mercy. Up in the sky, ten Empyreans were fighting an intense battle. Neither side was able to get an advantage over the other. However, there were still so many Empyreans on the side of the Zhuangshan Dao sect that hadn't done anything yet. As well as Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion. They were all just indifferently watching them. As if they were in complete control over the situation. The ones attacking were just the disciples of the Zhuangshan Dao sect but even they were too strong for this mob of people. How could a mob of random disciples from various regions be able to block the attack of the elites of the Zhuangshan Dao sect? In just a few breaths time, tens of thousands of experts were slain. In front of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's elites, they didn't have the slightest ability to resist. In the distance, over 3,000 people were watching. They were both rejoiceful as well as filled with lingering fear. Their guts had been comparatively smaller and they had fled before Long Chen's incense stick was up. Originally, there had been over 10,000 of them to flee, but a portion came back due to the conning of others. The choice to flee while they could, had saved these people's lives. Seeing the Zhuangshan Dao sect's experts cut down their opponents so easily gave them chills. Their numbers constantly dwindled. They despaired. Long Chen was only watching them indifferently completely unmoved by their pleading. Long Chen, you slaughterer, a bloodthirsty fiend like you isn't even human. We're innocent. Just wait. Even in death, 
will become ghouls that haunt you for eternity cursed one disciple upon seeing that they couldn't escape. Long Chen glanced at that person lightly. You're innocent? Do you even believe your own lie? You insulted me, the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and every single one of our disciples. What? Did you not realize that you were fed lies? Does that make you free from the responsibility of your own actions? Fine. Then after we kill you, I'll also apologize to you by saying sorry. I had no idea you were innocent at the time, but you know we're innocent right now. Why do you have to kill? Another disciple roared. But before he could finish speaking, his head was severed from the rest of his body. Right now, I really don't know if you are innocent or not. If I let you off this time, who knows whether you'll be duped again and used against me? In my eyes, you are a weapon aiming to harm my Zhuangshan Dao sect. So there's no such thing as innocent or not. Long Chen shook his head. No, I don't want to die. Don't kill me. I surrender. Death cries rang out one by one. But none of these cries could stop the fury of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Fuck. You cursed us so happily while blocking our gate. You even included our fathers, mothers, wives. You can all die, cowards. After having to endure these people's cursing for so long, they had long since been filled with fury. A supreme sect like the Zhuangshan Dao sect had actually had a bunch of trash come to their gates and curse them. They definitely wouldn't have mercy. In fact, some of them even began to pick up the pace for fear that Long Chen would accept their surrender. Just a dozen breaths later, all the experts were slain. They had really killed them all. Refreshing. So refreshing. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples all had excited expressions. Their bellies full of fire had finally been released. Boom. Suddenly, a divine item shook the sky. A woman holding a sword forced her opponent back. Long Chen. I really admire you. You really are just as bloody and domineering as the stories. Regretfully, you've signed your death warrant. So sorry, but since my mission is complete, I won't accompany you any longer. The woman took out a jade plate and crushed it. A large spatial channel appeared in the sky, and she stepped into it. This spatial channel was gigantic and formed with its own spatial barrier. It was much more difficult for external power to damage it. In fact, the fluctuations coming from it showed that it was connected to her divine item. There were also other divine fluctuations. Clearly, this was a channel formed through two divine items, the one she was holding and one on the other side. As long as she entered, she would appear where the other divine item was. Perhaps that place was her sect. If you left just like this, it would make the Zhuangshan Dao sect appear rude. Let me send you on your way. Yu Zifeng suddenly stepped forward. His sword came out of its sheath, and without even seeing his sword, people felt like the world had suddenly been cut in two. The spatial channel exploded. A flash of light fell, and that woman only had time to let out a startled cry before she was killed. Not even her Yuan spirit managed to flee. This sword came without any warning. It hadn't had any fluctuations and had struck like lightning. Both friends and foes were stunned by this one attack. Yu Zifeng's sword slowly returned to his sheath. It was like a quiet dragon cry, and it sounded like two cries on top of each other. The sound of his sword coming out and going in came at practically the same time. Has his sword already broken the restrictions of time? Otherwise, how could such a thing happen? All the Empyreans present were completely shocked. This attack had been absolutely bizarre. If Yu Zifeng wanted to kill any of them, just how would they resist? Such a terrifying speed and killing power didn't allow others to react. They could only wait for their own death just like that woman. It was an attack that created despair. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and Lu Ruyan exchanged a look. Just as Long Chen had said, Yu Zifeng had abandoned defensive power to obtain the highest offensive might. Such a sharp sword was practically impossible to block. This was using offense instead of defense. That woman was slain and her divine sword transformed into a ray of light that instantly fled. The remaining four Empyreans' expressions changed. They also forced back their own opponents, preparing to summon their own methods of escape. Suddenly, a golden spear appeared in the sky, emitting blazing light. It pierced toward one of the Empyreans. Chapter 1682 Taking Wickedness to New Heights Translator Born to be the spear was like a prison. 
completely locking down its target. It was clearly just an ancestral item, and yet it was thrumming with power. It was like a strike from a coiling dragon. Hence, that Empyrean hastily blocked with his divine item. Boom. The spear exploded, and the Empyrean was blown apart. His divine item was sent flying, while his Yuan spirit emerged from the dust. Suddenly, a hand caught his Yuan spirit. Gu Yang's large figure appeared, his hand covered in divine light. With all the effort of a single breath, that Empyrean's Yuan spirit was blown apart, turning into a rain of light. Gu Yang's attack was just as shocking as Yu Zifeng's. Yu Zifeng had been so fast that things had been over before they had even started. However, with Gu Yang, they saw it clearly, which was why they were so shocked. Gu Yang had used an ancestral item to knock away a divine item and destroy his opponent's physical body. If he had been in possession of a divine item, wouldn't he have killed his opponent in one move without any suspense? In the blink of an eye, two Empyreans were slain. The remaining three Empyreans were finally terrified. Two of them had given up on building a spatial formation and ran. They could see that a spatial formation could no longer save them. Hence, they split up in two different directions. Quick as lightning, two walls suddenly appeared in front of them. Those earthen walls possessed an incredibly thick air and sparkled with a golden luster. Those two Empyreans crashed into them and exploded. What everyone's jaws dropped. Two Empyreans had died from smashing into a wall? That was something they had trouble believing even though they had personally witnessed it. After all, an Empyrean's body was so tough that even if a mountain crashed into them, they would just fly straight through it. However, these earthen walls didn't shake at all. It was like two eggs had been thrown into a stone wall. The toughness of these earthen walls was practically a match for divine items. Two Yuan spirits flew out of the mess of blood. However, they had just appeared when two golden thorns came out of the wall and stabbed their heads. No, those two Empyreans let out unwilling cries but that couldn't change their miserable fates. Their Yuan spirits quickly withered until they turned to dust. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had finished refining the earth essence now. They had not only obtained its pure earth energy, but they had also obtained the Jade Lake Venerate's earth inheritance. They were no longer their old selves, and their power could only be described as terrifying. Just as Li Qi and Song Mingyuan killed their targets, a spatial channel appeared. The remaining Empyrean stepped into it. Long Chen just looked on without stopping him. Just as the latter stepped through, a ray of light flew over. Hey, don't be in such a rush to leave. This is a small present for your sect I'll trouble you to give it to your sect leader. It's just a small token of my respect for you. Called out Guo Ran. It was a fist-sized ball and vanished along with the Empyrean. The Empyrean came out of the spatial channel and saw that he had returned to his sect thinking he had escaped death. He rejoiced. What is this? That Empyrean had just sighed with relief when he suddenly saw that a ball had appeared beside him. That ball's runes were rapidly changing color. Boom. The ball exploded like a blazing sun. Its immense power devoured the entire sect, destroying it. Brat, you are really evil. Long Chen gave Guo Ran a thumbs up. He had known that Guo Ran wouldn't give up such a chance to show off. He would definitely take one of the five targets. However, Long Chen hadn't expected that this little fellow would have learned how to be Loki in order to show off even more effectively. Guo Ran had waited silently to con that Empyrean. He had timed everything perfectly. That ball's power was definitely terrifying. It wouldn't just kill that Empyrean. It would probably bring down his sect with him. That move was definitely vicious. So Long Chen gave Guo Ran a thumbs up. Boss, I was just learning from you. I still have much to learn. I will strive to reach the same height as you one day, said Guo Ran devoutly. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and the others were speechless. As expected, a subordinate learned from their leader. These two fellows were both evil. In the future, they would take wickedness to new heights. In less than an incense stick's worth of time. The battlefield was empty. The opponents were all slain. However, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts were still filled with shock. Even Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Wang Zhen, and the others were stunned. Without even realizing it, the Dragon Blood Legion's power had erupted to a shocking level once more. Even Empyreans with divine items protecting themselves weren't able to flee in front of them. Most shocking of all, 
Only Gu Yang had used his manifestation. The others hadn't even used their full power. Moreover, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and Guo Ran hadn't used any martial weapons, while Gu Yang and Yu Zifeng didn't have divine items. Yu Zifeng might have been too fast for them to see his sword, but those fluctuations weren't of a divine item. His sword didn't even have the fluctuations of an ancestral item. They killed five Empyreans with casual waves of their hands. How could the others not be shocked? How could they not revere such power? I'm still lacking compared to Zifeng. I had to sacrifice my weapon, said Gu Yang despondently. You're a power type fighter. Having a good heavy weapon would increase your combat power by at least 30%. However, Guo Ran still can't forge divine items, so it'll be up to luck. I'll try to get you one decent weapon later, consoled Long Chen. Long Chen was also a power type fighter, and he personally knew how irritating it was not to have a good weapon. Despite having immense power, you would be unable to use it to fight. That was too stifling. All right, since the fight's done, we're done for the day. Next time, if there's anyone annoying, there's no need to be courteous. Just kill them. Long Chen clapped his hands, about to leave. Long Chen, have we fallen into their trap by doing this? Asked Chu Yao worriedly. The old man often teaches that in front of absolute power, all schemes are useless. Plus, this isn't a trap to us. I've already dealt with it. So don't worry, said Long Chen. He turned to the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. Brothers, sisters, you've now seen that our Zhuanshan Dao sect is surrounded by enemies. You've also seen their expressions toward us. No one wishes for our Zhuanshan Dao sect to soar. So if we want to reach the peak of the martial heaven continent, we'll have to face countless obstacles. There will be different kinds of obstacles. Some will be clear and above board, while some will be hidden pitfalls. There will also be some that, knowing they can't stop you, will still wipe their snot on you just to irritate you. This is the path of cultivation, one of no return, one where there is no right or wrong, a completely heartless path. If we want to rise, we have to climb over the corpses of our enemies. If your heart holds mercy, it will only result in you being the one whose corpse is climbed over. That is why I never care about my opponent's point of view or other people's slander, because anyone who has stepped onto the cultivation path is no longer completely innocent or pure. What I do care about are my brothers, my sisters, my parents, my family. For them, I cannot pause in front of obstacles, nor can I retreat. The current Zhuanshan Dao sect looks grand and majestic, but I will tell you that this is just a start, as long as we don't fall. The Zhuanshan Dao sect will definitely become one of the overlords of the martial heaven continent. Sometimes fate is just like this. Only when you are willing to share honor and disgrace are you true life and death brothers. Just like my Dragonblood Legion. The reason you cannot join the Dragonblood Legion isn't because you aren't outstanding or righteous enough. It's the opposite. I see many among you who are worthy of being my life and death brothers. However, that time has already passed. The Dragonblood Legion is no longer accepting new members. That is because our memories of walking from the eastern wasteland to the central plains will forever be engraved in our minds. Those years cannot be relived, and those emotions cannot be replaced. The current Zhuanshan Dao sect is similar. This is a special time, where danger and opportunity exist together. If you wish to stay in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, you might prosper with it and leave your names in history. You also might be destroyed along with the Zhuanshan Dao sect and become an unremarkable ripple in the river of time. This is a gamble where you bet your life. I ask you, do you have the bravery to follow my Zhuanshan Dao sect? Do you dare to make a grand gamble with me against our powerful enemies that surround us on the martial heaven continent we dare? All the experts felt their blood boiling with a grand, heroic feeling. Their excitement from killing the enemy invaders had yet to fade before Long Chen's words further stimulated them. Life itself was a series of gambles. You won some, you lost some. Each choice was a gamble, and before you reached the end, no one could say whether you won or lost. However, they all trusted Long Chen because Long Chen was a legend, a miracle. They firmly believed that whether he won or lost, this gamble would be exceptionally brilliant. Good. Then everyone. Prepare yourself. The Devil Abyss's eruption is nearing. 
and we will first use that battle to signify the rise of our Zhuangshan Dao sect. Let us fight shoulder to shoulder, slaughtering our enemies. All the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples cheered. They finally had a chance to fight alongside Long Chen. To them, this was a glory that they had been waiting for. He really knows how to raise morale. In the Zhuangshan Tower, Li Xiangxuan couldn't help sighing emotionally. Chapter 1683 One move to reverse the tides translator. Born to be haha. -ha. Good. Long Chen finally couldn't endure it any longer. Now we can justify the destruction of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Even if Pu Jianying wanted to protect him, it would be useless this time. Long Chen and the Zhuangshan Dao sect are doomed. Immediately gather all our troops. Everyone is to move out. This time. We're going to completely eliminate this scourge when news that Long Chen had killed the experts from various forces sent to blockade the Zhuangshan Dao sect spread throughout the continent. Pill Valley, the ancient family alliance, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, and other top-tier powers began to gather their forces. This blockade's true purpose had been to antagonize Long Chen and provoke him into killing them. It was a shameless move that had no possible counter. Being shameless made it exceptionally effective. They knew that Long Chen's temper was explosive and he killed people decisively. He definitely wouldn't permit others to insult his people, especially his women. If that happened, his anger would be fully provoked. However, the Dragonblood Legion had been in seclusion during this time. It was only when Long Chen came out that the opportunity came. However, they didn't even have to antagonize him for him to kill them. The only thing that surprised them was that the experts that they had sent to fan the flames of the crowd had all been killed. Only one returned to his sect alive, and as a result, he ended up bringing along a mysterious sphere that exploded, killing him and destroying his sect. A first-rate sect was damaged to its core just like that. However, five Empyreans weren't a big deal to them. That was because the Empyreans came from sects that were subordinate to them. All they needed to do was crush the Zhuangshan Dao sect as revenge for them and then give them a bit of compensation. That way, their enemies would be eliminated, their reputation would grow, and they would get richer. This was a shameless move, so shameless that there was no way to neutralize it. If they endured, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would become the laughing stock of the continent. If they didn't endure, they would give their opponents a reason to join together to destroy them. Unfortunately for them, this shameless move was so shameless that Long Chen had no choice but to be even more shameless. He had directly flipped the board, refusing to play this game with them. Just as they were gathering their forces and a rising storm brewed over the continent, a piece of news struck the continent like lightning, blowing apart those storm clouds. This news was transmitted through two photographic jades. The day after Long Chen had exterminated those experts, the news spread like a contagious virus. The elusive music Immortal Palace's Shen Bijin was actually so shameless. Heavens, I can barely believe it. Who cares about that? The head of the ancient family alliance was slapped by Long Chen, and his clone was destroyed. I don't dare to believe it. Those photographic jades are too clear to be fake. In other words, everything is actually true. Who would have thought that Shen Bijin was trying to kill Long Chen from the start? She was just feigning love to make it so others wouldn't punish her too hard for her actions. Her acting was so good that even the elusive music Immortal Palace blamed Long Chen for one of the protectors of the continent to do such a thing. How disappointing. The disappointing one isn't just the elusive music Immortal Palace. D. Long abused his position to avenge a personal enmity. He actually made up a sanctimonious reason to target Long Chen and the Zhuangshan Dao sect furthermore. Pill Valley, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, and others all supported them. Could they really not have known the truth? That's thought-provoking. Ever since those two photographic jades spread throughout the Martial Heaven continent, countless experts were discussing them. Anywhere there were people, there were also the Huaian sect's businessmen. These two photographic jades were quickly spread. Everyone quickly learned the truth. This was Long Chen's silent strike back. Originally. All the Central Plains forces were denouncing the Zhuangshan Dao sect and Kujianying, but now their mouths were shut. People realized that they had been used. They had been used as a public opinion weapon. 
The only thing worth celebrating for them was that they hadn't been like those people who had charged over to the Zhuangshan Dao sect to curse them. Otherwise, they also would have been unable to ever return. These two photographic jades startled everyone awake. Some people even furiously demanded an explanation from the elusive music Immortal Palace and the Ancient Family Alliance. They cursed the latter for being shameless, for using other people's emotions. They were a bunch of cheats. Those powers that had been gathering forces and filled with excitement immediately turned cold from head to toe once those photographic jades appeared. The elusive music Immortal Palace, Ancient Family Alliance, and Pill Valley in particular were struck dumb, not knowing what to do. Within the elusive music Immortal Palace, the palace master's expression was heavy. In front of her was the seven-string C-suppressing zither. There was a thumb-sized black scar on it now. That was the result of when Long Chen had used divine lightning to send it flying. The seven-string C-suppressing zither had been unable to protect Shen Bijin. So it had returned to the elusive music Immortal Palace once Shen Bijin was killed. However, even after all this time, the black mark on it had yet to fully recover. The power of that thunder force had harmed its core. I never expected Long Chen to have such a strange ability. He recorded everything that happened back then, sighed the palace master. Back when the palace master had faced Ku Jianying's confrontation, she had refused to admit that she had sent Shen Bijin to kill Long Chen. She clung to her story that Long Chen had scorned Shen Bijin's feelings, resulting in Shen Bijin going crazy. However, now that lie was useless. In fact, it had even transformed into a kind of insult. Even the words Long Chen and Shen Bijin had exchanged spiritually were recorded. The story of love transforming into hatred was a huge joke. The reason she had refused to admit to this at first was because there was no proof to be found. Shen Bijin was dead, and by saying that Long Chen's testimony was completely biased, it was easy to make his story baseless. Now though, Long Chen had brought out his ironclad proof. She was no longer able to continue with this lie. Furthermore, the reason all these powers were targeting Long Chen was because the elusive music Immortal Palace had taken the lead. Now the palace master had a splitting headache. Shen Bijin's heart was too narrow. She was fierce but lacked any nobility. It was fated that she couldn't hold an important position. As for Zi Yan, she fulfills all the other requirements, but she doesn't have a killing heart. Only by killing the person she loves the most can her eyes be opened to her true nature. However, the heavens toy with people. That Long Chen is too powerful and has many factors that make me uneasy. Even I was injured. As for that saber he has, it's a powerful killing weapon. You have to be careful. The seven string C suppressing zither's voice was gentle like immortal music. It was like a woman was speaking while playing the zither. I can't think that far into the future at the moment. This matter has implicated the state of the entire continent. If I handle this badly, the elusive music immortal palace's name will be ruined. Furthermore, those seniors will definitely punish me. The palace master rubbed her head as she muttered. You can't rush this matter. It would be better to temporarily take a step back. Although you are doing this all for Zi Yan, you should remember that Zi Yan's devil star cannot be meddled with. When you first sent Shen Bijin to kill Long Chen, I felt like it was a bad idea. No reality proves me right. If this matter gets any bigger and startles those ancestors, ignoring your position as palace master, even Zi Yan will be implicated. You know those ancestors' decisive characters. They definitely won't give Zi Yan any breathing room. Either Long Chen dies, or Zi Yan dies. That will obviously push Zi Yan toward death, said the seven string C suppressing zither. The palace master nodded. Then I can only do this. For Zi Yan, I'll bear all the responsibility you're planning on. No matter what. I have to give an explanation or it'll be difficult to handle everyone's criticism just at this moment. A disciple ran in and bowed toward the palace master. Reporting to the palace master, Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and a dozen other powers have sent emissaries asking to see you. The palace master smiled bitterly. What do they want from me? Could it be they really want me to stubbornly insist that those photographic jades are fake? Am I supposed to thicken my skin and let them drag me down into their depravity and go destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect? 
Tell them to go back to wherever they came from. I will take responsibility for my own actions. The second day after the photographic jades appeared, another shocking piece of news spread. The elusive music Immortal Palace's master announced that she had made a grievous mistake and wrongly accused a good person. She could not run from her sins. She went on to the elusive music Immortal Palace's punishment stage and punished herself with 49 strikes of heavenly lightning as an apology to the world. When that news spread, the continent was shaken. The position of palace master of the elusive music Immortal Palace was a grand and noble one. But even she was capable of admitting her own mistakes and punishing herself. That made countless people feel respect. This was a real expert. Someone who dared to face their own mistakes. In comparison to the palace master, Di Long was looked down upon even more. One dared to own up to her mistakes, while the other one refused to admit that he had made any mistakes at all. This self-punishment from the palace master was the final nail in the coffin for the powers gathering their forces. They disbanded like smoke in the wind. No longer having the slightest reason to target the Zhuanshan Dao sect, Di Long was absolutely infuriated. Long Chen's photographic jades were another slap in his face, while the palace master's self-punishment was an even more resounding slap. He definitely refused to admit that he was wrong. He wished to tear Long Chen to pieces, but regretfully, he had no way to do so. What infuriated him the most was that the Devil Abyss's eruption was imminent. If he still didn't support the Martial Heaven Alliance, he would be viewed as a selfish, petty little person who didn't care about the big picture. However, if he did support them, it would be admitting that he was wrong. However, under the immense pressure, he had no choice but to swallow his anger in the end. He agreed to temporarily cooperate with the Martial Heaven Alliance to handle the Devil Abyss together. This move of Long Chen's was immensely refreshing to Ku Jinying. It was incredibly satisfying. Seeing Di Long look like he had just swallowed dog shit yet acting like nothing had happened. Ku Jinying laughed maniacally inside. On this day, Ku Jinying came to the Zhuanshan Dao sect and called Long Chen over. Little fellow, this time, you have to win me some face. You must enter the top 10 of the Devil Slaughter Rankings for me. Chapter 1684 Devil Slaughter Rankings Translator Born to be the Devil Slaughter Rankings? What's that? Within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, Ku Jinying, the Patriarch, Li Xiangxuan, and Long Chen were sitting together. Long Chen looked at Ku Jinying blankly. Li Xiangxuan said, The so-called Devil Slaughter rankings are determined each time the Devil Abyss erupts as a whole. The Martial Heaven Continent's young experts will kill the Devil Experts, and each Devil Expert they slay gives them a certain number of kill points. They are recorded with the Heaven-watching Divine Jades and that information is sent back to the Devil Slaughtering Divine Tablet in the Martial Heaven Alliance's main headquarters in the Central Xuan region. The Devil Slaughtering Divine Tablet will rank each disciple according to the number and strength of the Devil Experts they kill. That's the Devil Slaughter Rankings. Although each time the Devil Abyss erupts the Martial Heaven Alliance is the main force holding them back. The embarrassing thing is that we haven't been able to produce any geniuses that enter the top 10 of the Devil Slaughter rankings. Even those who can reach the top 30 are rare. Why is that? Asked Long Chen. Because. Li Xiangxuan hesitated, pondering how to reply. It's because of the helplessness of the Martial Heaven Alliance. We haven't been able to produce many good geniuses. Each time, the top 10 is occupied by the ancient races, Xuan beasts. Blood Kill Hall, and the Corrupt Paths Experts, said Ku Jinying gloomily. How is that possible? Why would the Corrupt Path work together with us? Don't misunderstand. They aren't helping us out of the kindness in their hearts. They're just trying to give a blow to our morale. They will only send a few experts who they are confident in, and they enter the core of the battlefield through other entrances with their only goal being to get into the top 10. They don't allow my Martial Heaven Alliance or the Ancient Family Alliance's experts to enter the top 10. The Righteous Path's morale has never been high, and one reason is because we can't get into the top 10 of the Devil Slaughter rankings. Even getting into the top 30 would depend on luck, sighed Ku Jinying. Then can't you just not let them enter? Asked Long Chen. HMPH, being powerless myself, how am I supposed to prevent the competition from joining in? 
If I allowed the righteous path to get such a big head and grow so conceited, the entire righteous path would be disbanded within a thousand years. Don't be so silly, raged Ku Jianying. He, I didn't think of that, laughed Long Chen. Ku Jianying's considerations were reasonable. With the righteous path's irrational pride, feeling inferior was definitely better than feeling superior. That's why, you have to enter the top ten for me, or I'll skin you for all the trouble you gave me. Don't think I've forgotten what you did. I've written it all in a book. If you do well, then I can write it off with one stroke. But if not, he, Hu Jianying smiled threateningly. Most likely, Long Chen wouldn't have any more good days if he couldn't achieve this. Why not first place? Asked Long Chen. Hu Jianying laughed. Little brat, do you think others are all useless? I don't want to give you a blow. But if you could enter the top ten, I'd already light incenses thanks. You have no idea how big the continent is, or how many experts there are. You also don't know how great the differences between the central Xuan region and the other four regions. Most importantly, just because you have high combat power doesn't mean you'll have killing efficiency. With just one saber, even if you could slash straight through the entire battlefield, you wouldn't necessarily be able to enter the top 10. This isn't a competition of battle power but how many you can kill. There are many experts who might lose in a fight against you but have amazing area attacks that can instantly kill as many devil experts as you can kill in several hours. Not only that, but other than the sects that you know of, some existences that have been hiding for countless years and have almost been forgotten are reviving with the descent of the Great Era. Those ancient sects possess terrifying inheritances. Furthermore, they aren't technically part of the Martial Heaven Alliance, so even if their people got in the top 10, it wouldn't have the slightest relation to us. All kinds of monster class geniuses will come out during the Devil Abyss's eruption this time. They all want to leave their name on the Devil Slaughter rankings. The competition will be exceptionally intense, and it will be unimaginably savage. You should just give up on first place. Just entering the top 10 would satisfy me, sighed Kujinying. The reason why the Martial Heaven Alliance could lead the Righteous Path wasn't because the Martial Heaven Alliance itself was so powerful, but because the Righteous Path needed protection and to unite against the corrupt path. As for sects that were strong enough, they disdained joining any alliance. No one dared to provoke them, so those sects' disciples could be monstrously powerful. Although Ku Jianying was hopeful for Long Chen, she was also worried, as the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. She wished she could raise his people's morale and vent years of frustration. Even if she died, she could die in peace then. If that's the case, then it's not a problem. Even if I can't, there should be no problem with my people entering contrary to Kujinying. Long Chen wasn't worried at all. He might not specialize in group killing arts, but plenty within the Dragonblood Legion did. It doesn't matter who it is, as long as one of you can enter the top 10, it will be good. The Devil Abyss is starting to grow more intense. You should prepare yourself faster, as the eruption this time will be on an unprecedented scale. However, let me give you just one order. You cannot press forward out of greed. You have to fight while making sure the Devil Abyss's creatures cannot charge onto the continent. Although it's a bit unfair to you, nothing can be done about it. We can't let the Devil Race's creatures slaughter the continent's people. Otherwise, even if you got first, it would be a disgrace. Understood, demanded Ku Jianying. Long Chen suddenly understood. This was probably the main reason the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples were unable to get a good ranking. Others could charge deeper into the Devil Abyss and slaughter as many as they pleased, while the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples had to stay back and defend. Don't worry, I'm confident Long Chen patted his chest confidently. I'm confident in you doing bad things, but I am really worried when it comes to you doing good things. Ku Jianying looked at Long Chen helplessly. Ku Jianying was extremely busy, and after giving Long Chen his instructions, she left immediately to handle her other duties. Once Ku Jianying left, Long Chen went to see Wild. Wild was still sleeping, but he was no longer the same as before. A thunderous snoring came from him. He was emitting a terrifying aura. One that wasn't similar to a human at all. It was more like an ancient beast's aura. 
Long Chen examined Wild and found that his body was finally starting the slow process of reviving. His cells, which had been completely asleep, were starting to awaken. It seemed it wouldn't be long now. However, he had to awaken naturally. If he was forcibly awakened, it would definitely be detrimental to his body. Li Xiangxuan gave a map of the Devil Abyss's channels to Long Chen. The Devil Abyss was the result of a channel opened in a spatial wall in the underground of the Martial Heaven continent. The Devil Race's experts invaded the Martial Heaven continent through that channel. In the ancient era, almighty experts had modified the channel, splitting it into five regions. The Eastern, Western, Southern, Northern, and Central regions. Those five channels had then been split into millions of tiny channels that led to the various large sects. The Zhuangshan Dao sect was one of them. Novaloon.com Wouldn't there be even more in the core region? Won't they have a huge advantage over us like that? Asked Long Chen. No, the core region also has a formation. Whether it's the geniuses of the Martial Heaven Alliance or the genius of other powers, they can only occupy one of the positions around the core region and attack from there. If they go too far, they will be suppressed by the spatial channel, and it will weaken them. They might die within the sea of devils like that. Don't look down on these devil creatures. I suspect that they have also produced higher level experts due to the Great Era. Their top geniuses are no weaker than our human geniuses. No one knows what will happen. So don't be careless. A single mistake will bring calamity to the eastern Xuan region. This eruption came at the wrong time for us. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's defensive formation has not been fully built. Otherwise, you would be able to go forward without any misjivings, sighed Li Xiangxuan. The Zhuangshan Dao sect looked like it had been fully built, but only Long Chen, Li Xiangxuan, and the Patriarch knew that the current Zhuangshan Dao sect was just a fancy frame at the moment. Only once the main formation was completed could it be capable of its true offensive and defensive powers. Don't worry. I'm more confident than other time for this devil abyss eruption. I definitely won't allow the devil creatures to charge above ground. And I definitely will accomplish the alliance head's mission. Long Chen was extremely confident. The current Dragonblood Legion had completely transformed. Their power had reached a level that even he couldn't estimate. He wanted to leave the Dragonblood Legion's name on the devil slaughter rankings. So that the entire continent would know their power. In fact. He was almost unable to suppress his own excitement. He wished the Devil Abyss would ear up earlier. All right, since you're so confident, I'm at ease. Li Xiangxuan was more confident in Long Chen than anyone else. What he had been worried about wasn't Long Chen's safety, but that Long Chen would be careless due to his youth and allow some of the devil creatures to charge above ground. Those devil creatures were all bloodthirsty fiends. Once they charged onto the continent, they would slaughter all life. There had been such a baptism in the past. Millions of those devil creatures had managed to charge onto the continent. They had rapidly spread out in every direction. Despite the various powers hunting them down, it took seven days to kill them all. In just seven days, thousands of cities had been annihilated, and countless innocent commoners had been killed. It was a true calamity. That was the result of one sect's disciples being too arrogant and treating the devil creatures as nothing. They had charged forward to rack up points, resulting in this tragedy. Those disciples were executed by their sect in the end, and the sect leader killed himself as an apology to the world. That had given the entire continent a warning. So Ku Jin Ying reminded Long Chen of this, and Li Xiangxuan also couldn't help reminding him again since he knew Long Chen's character. Time passed slowly. On the eighth day, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples gathered. The Devil Abyss had suddenly turned silent. It was about to erupt, and an immense battle was about to start. Chapter 1685 Once more descending into the Devil Abyss translator, born to be the Zhuangshan Dao sect's plaza was filled with 180,000 inner sect disciples. These disciples were all soul transformation experts. Even the weakest amongst them were rank 7 celestials. Within the entire eastern Xuan region, there was no force as great as them. The Zhuangshan Dao sect was no longer the old Zhuangshan Dao sect. It had reached an unprecedented level of strength and now had the potential to be an overlord level existence. If even half of these disciples could reach the life star realm, 
then the Zhuangshan Dao sect's position would be unshackable. It would be enough to stand on the same level as Pill Valley, the ancient races, or the ancient family alliance as a whole. That was why those powers were doing their best to suppress the Zhuangshan Dao sect's growth. Not only did the Zhuangshan Dao sect now have an ether passage expert, but it also had countless geniuses soaring. That made them very uneasy. However, today the atmosphere was tense. They were about to enter the Devil Abyss and face a fierce battle with the Devil creatures from another world. This would be a true life and death battle. Although they were experts, none of them could say for sure whether they would return alive. However, they were profoundly aware that experts had to experience treading the line between life and death. Only by undergoing the baptism of blood and fire would they become true experts. That was the essence of cultivation that they had felt from each of the dragon blood warriors. Every cultivator thirsted to grow stronger. However, there were no shortcuts. If they wanted to get stronger, they had to have the courage to face death. Fortunately, they had Long Chen. His existence was extremely comforting. Having such a peerless expert gave them endless drive. They also felt a thirst to fight alongside him. They saw that every warrior of the Dragonblood Legion was calm without the slightest nervousness. It was as if they didn't view the upcoming life and death battle as anything important. That kind of heroism formed an echo within them. Li Xiangxuan stood in front of the Zhuangshan Tower. I won't say too much. This is a battle to protect humanity, your family, and the Martial Heaven Continent. Each of you is a warrior of the Martial Heaven Continent. This is a responsibility that cannot be shirked. And it is also the duty of a disciple of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. I know that in this battle, some people will forever rest within the Devil Abyss. But your names will be engraved in the memory of the continent. Once you return alive, you will be true brave warriors of the continent. You will leave behind your own page on history. I wish you good luck. Fight for the Martial Heaven Continent. Fight for the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Fight for the Martial Heaven Continent. Fight for the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Fight for the Martial Heaven Continent. Fight for the Zhuangshan Dao sect. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples cheered. In that instant, they felt like they had received a divine mission. That feeling made them forget the fear in their hearts. Their eyes became sharper. Long Chen, you are the commander for this battle. Come and say a few words, said Li Xiangxuan. Me? There's nothing to say. It's about time. So let's move out. My brothers are already getting impatient laughed Long Chen. A few chuckles rang out in the crowd. In this kind of heavy atmosphere, perhaps only Long Chen would dare to say such a thing. The tense atmosphere lightened slightly. All right, then move out, ordered Li Xiangxuan helplessly. The transportation formation was activated, and Long Chen and his group vanished. There were too many people here. And although the transportation formations had been built much larger in the reconstruction, the fact they were soul transformation experts limited the number that could be transported at one time. At most, only 5,000 could be transported at a time. Long Chen's group was the first to be transported. Just to be safe, the strongest group was taking the lead. One batch after another vanished. In the end, all the disciples in the plaza vanished. That little fellow Long Chen. I was so worried that I even further encouraged them, and he didn't even say a word, said Li Xiangxuan a bit irritably as he looked at the empty plaza. If he had wanted to, Li Xiangxuan definitely could have said some better words. However, thinking of how he was in front of a Connor Grandmaster like Long Chen, he had felt that his attempt might make Long Chen laugh at him, so he had left this opportunity to Long Chen but he hadn't expected Long Chen to actually not say anything. Long Chen has his own methods. Furthermore, with his charisma, he has no need for such things. I've found that the current world is no longer something you or I can control. In fact, even the Zhuangshan Dao sect is growing out of our control. This is a new era, and they are the true main characters. We are just some supporting actors, said the patriarch from behind Li Xiangxuan. He looked up at the sky emotionally. Long Chen's photographic jades had deeply affected him. A soul transformation expert had actually managed to kill a nether passage expert's clone. Long Chen could only be a monster. However, now it was unknown how many monsters just as powerful as Long Chen were hidden on the Martial Heaven continent. That was what made the patriarch sigh emotionally. 
being a supporting actor isn't bad either. We get to watch from a spectator's viewpoint and enjoy the sight of heavenly geniuses rising together. This is also a blessing. I look forward to seeing how long Chen and the others do on the Devil Slaughter rankings. Buzz. A huge stone tablet suddenly appeared on the plaza. It was 300 meters tall and glossy like a mirror. It didn't look particularly conspicuous. It wasn't a true stone tablet but a projection. Once the Devil Abyss's eruption started, it would display the rankings of the disciples' kill points. However, the Devil Slaughter rankings only showed the top 10,000 disciples. If you wanted to appear on the rankings, you would have to work hard to get into the top 10,000. Before entering the Devil Abyss, each disciple had extracted a drop of their purest essence blood and placed it onto a special jade plate. Those jade plates had been issued from the Martial Heaven Alliance. The jade plates were connected to the Devil Slaughter rankings. They were what recorded how many devil creatures a person killed. It was shockingly accurate. Rumor was that the divine tablet recording the Devil Slaughter rankings was personally made by the first generation sovereign, Yun Shang. It had the blessing of a sovereign, so it couldn't be mistaken. It was the only divine item left behind by a sovereign on this continent. The only regretful thing was that it was only used to count points. It had no offensive or defensive power on its own. The projection of it was now established. However, there were no names on it yet. The battle had yet to truly start. The entire Zhuanshan Dao sect essentially closed down. All the disciples and elders came to the plaza to watch the projection. They were calmly waiting to see the names appear on it. It wasn't just the Zhuanshan Dao sect all sects belonging to the Martial Heaven Alliance and Ancient Family Alliance were capable of summoning this projection. Countless eyes were staring at it now. This was a chance to witness the rise of heavenly geniuses. Which monsters would fight to the front of the pack? This was a dark and gloomy world. Looking like it was always dusk. There was no sunlight. The ground was an unending barren land of mountains. The smell of blood hung in the air. It was unknown just how many lives had been lost on this battlefield. Some were from the devil race. Some were the martial heaven continent's brave warriors. It was possible to see broken skeletons scattered about. Some were as large as a mountain. Despite having died who knew how many years ago, those bones still emitted immense pressure. Long Chen led the Zhuanshan Dao sect's army forward. This was the channel the Zhuanshan Dao sect protected, and up ahead was the main channel of the entire eastern Xuan region. This time, the Zhuanshan Dao sect was about to block the entire eastern Xuan region's devil creatures. They had to advance to the end of the channel. Long Chen, do you want to make any deployment arrangements? I'm noticing quite a few nervous disciples, whispered Hua Xiaoyu. The space here felt very oppressive. Furthermore, there were broken skeletons everywhere. These disciples might be powerful, but many were lacking battle experience. For some, this was their first time stepping foot on such a terrifying battlefield. Their tense nerves sharply lowered their confidence. If Long Chen could say some words of encouragement now or arrange for them to busy themselves with something, it would improve their morale a bit. I'll tell you the truth. You definitely can't tell this to them, said Long Chen gravely. What is it? Hua Xiaoyu jumped in fright upon seeing his expression. In truth, I'm also incredibly nervous. Long Chen clutched his stomach pitifully. Stop messing around, raged Hua Xiaoyu, angrily punching him. Just how many heaven-shaking things had Long Chen done in the past? Not even a ghost would believe he was really nervous. Fortunately, Men Qi and the others were very familiar with Hua Xiaoyu, so they simply laughed and watched. I really am nervous. I'm afraid, said Long Chen innocently. What are you afraid of? I don't believe you. I'm afraid there aren't enough devil creatures for me to get in the top 10. If I don't get in the top 10, the Alliance head will punish me. Tell me, how can I not be afraid? Long Chen's voice wasn't loud, but it wasn't too quiet either. Quite a few people heard it. Guo Ran laughed. Boss, don't worry, you just sit and drink tea. I'll take first place for you, that would depend on your abilities. However, I'm not holding back this time. The devil creatures have something I need, so I'll be killing them, said Lu Ruiyan coldly before waiting for Long Chen to reply. I'm also going for first, declared Tang Wanur. 
She had long since been waiting for a chance to test her power and have her own name shake the continent. In truth, Tang Wan'er was extremely competitive. It seems I have no affinity with the Devil Slaughter rankings. Gu Yang scowled. Guo Ran, Lu Ruian, and Tang Wan'er all had terrifying massive area attacks. With his single spear, it would take him years to catch up to them. Their relaxed aura infected the other disciples. The pressure weighing on them lightened. They had just reached the end of the Eastern Xuan region's channel when the world began to fiercely tremble. Ferocious roaring rang out. From the front, an endless tide of black figures charged over. Gulping sounds came from the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. The life and death battle had finally started. Chapter 1686 Earth and Divine Wall Translator Born to be Li Qi, Mingyuan, seal the path. Ruian, you are free to do as you please ordered Long Chen without even glancing at those devil creatures. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had long since been prepared. With a cry, the ground beneath everyone's feet began to explode. The ground began to rise rapidly, forming two earthen giants. Those two earthen giants caused the world to shake, divine runes covering their bodies. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were standing on their heads. They formed quick hand seals, and the earth giants they had summoned followed along. Earth and Divine Wall, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan shouted at the same time. Their earth giants slammed their hands on the ground, and a huge mountain range began to rise out of the ground. This was a kind of incomparable energy, the power of the earth. In front of it, everything else wasn't even worth mentioning. The huge mountain range slowly grew until it exploded, revealing a thick and sturdy wall within it. The wall towered over everyone, completely blocking the channel behind them. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples all looked at this giant wall in shock. This kind of power was something they had never dared to imagine possessing. It was a kind of power that sparked despair. It was simply too powerful. Even Long Chen was stunned. The thickness and height of this wall could truly cause an attacker to despair. As expected, the reason Earth cultivators were known for being number one in terms of defense was not for nothing. The Earth Giants exploded. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were both covered in sweat. Clearly, creating such an unbreakable defense was very taxing. You two should go rest. Now it's time to drill the troops. The real battle will come later. So make sure to be fully recovered by then, said Long Chen. All right. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan nodded. They quickly began to recover their energy. Their combined power had resolved their worry of the devil creatures charging onto the martial heaven continent. As for the offense, boom, in the distance, a giant willow appeared, its roots digging deep into the ground and its leaves covering the sky. The willow leaves looked delicate and light, yet they were actually life-reaping chains. Those devil creatures were torn to pieces before they could get anywhere close. Long Chen suddenly clapped his hands, drawing everyone's stunned gazes. As you can see, the path behind has been sealed. We have cut off our own path of retreat. It's either they die or we die. In this kind of life and death battle, only the ruthless ones will survive. As for those who are afraid of death, the more afraid they are, the faster they die. A battle is naturally very dangerous. However, I'm telling you that as long as you can see the danger, it's not really dangerous. Only invisible danger is fatal. Without experiencing these battles, you will never understand the meaning of life nor will you feel true gratitude and respect for life. To you, this is a chance to transform yourselves. In truth, other than my dragon blood legion, I haven't met many true experts on the continent. What makes you an expert isn't your cultivation base or combat power or talent. It's whether you know why you want to get stronger. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air, and behind him was the sight of Lu Ruian slaughtering their enemies. His figure was set off by a rain of black blood in the background. The majority of you come from decent backgrounds. You got whatever you wanted as a youth. To tell you the truth, I don't envy you one bit. Instead, I feel pity. The more your parents gave you, the less you had. Although my parents didn't leave me any treasures, they taught me respect and gratitude, as well as a work ethic. Your parents and your seniors gave you the best conditions for growth. While my parents didn't give me anything like that. However, they left me endless room for growth. When I left the Phoenix Cry Empire, I was just a blood condensation rookie. 
I had nothing except my determination to continue advancing. When I cut my way through my thorn-covered path, when my steps stumbled, I didn't complain. It was in the most challenging times that I gained my brothers and sisters. They've become my conviction. When I am helpless, when I am lost, when I am at my worst, they are what support me, what gives me the drive to continue forward. They remind me at every moment why I need to get stronger. Only by getting stronger will I be able to protect everything I have. All the dragon blood warriors clenched their fists. Their bond with Long Chen was forged through blood and fire, and their emotions were something only they could comprehend. As for you, you are geniuses, pampered since birth and raised as the future hope of a family or sect as for your parents. They don't understand that true experts are not raised. When you say that you want to get stronger, it's just a catchphrase, something your elders taught you, but you don't really know why you have to get stronger. Is it to pick up girls? Is it to trample over others? Is it to show off? If that's what drives you to get stronger, then it's a limited motivation. Do you know what your motivation to get stronger is? Long Chen looked out at the 180,000 disciples of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Our motivation to get stronger is to live, to defend, to protect the things in our hearts from being snatched away by the cruel reality. I know that many of you don't truly understand what it means to protect, but I'm sure you have things you cherish in your heart as well. Perhaps it's your parents, your masters, or your lovers. In truth, what many people love is just themselves. Let me put it to you this way. If what is in your heart is solely yourself, then that will give rise to one kind of emotion. Fear. Fear of death. Before, I said that the more someone fears death, the faster they die. Now the battle is about to start. Find what you have to protect inside your heart. Imagine it being killed right here in front of you. These monsters from a devil world are attacking the continent. Imagine your loved ones dying to their claws, their fangs. What kind of tragedy would such a reality be? That's why now, you have to raise your butcher's blade. Cut off these monsters' heads. Let their sins come to an end with you. In the middle of Long Chen's speech. These disciples felt like they had been drawn into a world of blood. As Long Chen spoke, this world became clearer, and they even saw the people closest to them dying to the devil creatures. Their eyes all turned red. They tightly clenched their weapons. Men Qi and Chu Yao exchanged a glance. Long Chen's spiritual strength was truly frightening. Just relying on it to convey his emotions, he was able to form a resonance with 180,000 experts. It was similar to a hypnotic art, but Long Chen hadn't used any techniques. He had relied purely on his spiritual strength to transmit his emotions, and even the Empyreans were affected. This emotional transmission made them forget their fear. By making them think of the ones they loved the most, they could summon the greatest power. At this moment, a large batch of the devil creatures charged past Lu Ruyan's blockade and toward them. What are you waiting for? Release your fury. Kill them all, shouted Long Chen. Kill. A hundred and eighty thousand experts roared at the same time. They looked at the devil creatures like the latter had personally slain their parents. A hundred and eighty thousand experts attacked at the same time. Sword light sword. Saber images slashed. And countless runes wreaked havoc. These devil creatures were like lizards covered in thick scales. Their claws were like hooks. And their teeth were jagged. They weren't particularly powerful only equivalent to the human race's foundation forging realm. However, their sharp claws and teeth would be troublesome if landed. Long Chen, don't you think this is inappropriate? They're too angry right now. If they start out at full strength, they won't be able to maintain it for very long. This is too much. Hua Shiyu frowned. First, let them kill for a bit and vent. This will allow them to enter a combat state at the fastest speed. Once they're accustomed to the battle, split them into two rotations. I'll leave that to you, said Long Chen. Long Chen was leaving Hua Shiyu in charge of directing this battle. This would increase her reputation and prestige, making it easier for her to lead them in the future. Hua Shiyu was extremely powerful, and she had the aptitude to be a leader. She had already won the trust of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Then what will you be doing? asked Hua Shiyu. I've already said what they need to hear. Now, I'm just going to eat, drink and enjoy the battle Long Chen shrugged. You, 
Don't worry about it. Based on past precedents, this eruption of the Devil Abyss will last at least a month and up to half a year. At the start, the Devil creatures aren't very powerful. It just so happens that they're suitable for drilling the troops. For now, my Dragon Blood Legion won't participate. There probably aren't many kill points to earn either, so we won't waste our time. This was a long battle, and the most frightening enemies would come at the end. Since Long Chen had finished raising morale and reducing their nervousness and fear, the rest could be left to Hua Xiaoyu. Am I really qualified? Hua Xiaoyu was uneasy. Although she had a certain influence in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, it was a far cry from Long Chen. It'll be fine. Just close your eyes and randomly order them around. No matter what happens, we'll be here. So what are you afraid of? Long Chen waved his hand and returned to the Dragonblood Legion's side in the back. As expected, they were already discussing something excitedly. Boss, so many monsters have appeared this time. Guo Ran cried out excitedly. He handed a jade plate to Long Chen for him to take a look. Long Chen was also startled. Absolutely monstrous. Chapter 1687 Xia Chen dominates the rankings translator. Born to be Long Chen's eyes were instantly drawn to one name. East. Zhuangshan Dao sects Chu Yao. Rank 13. This rank wasn't won by Chu Yao, but by Lu Ruian. Lu Ruian was Chu Yao's contractual houseboat, and their souls were linked. That was why the devil creatures Lu Ruian killed counted for Chu Yao. How ridiculous. Long Chen's jaw dropped. Lu Ruian had been unleashing large area attacks ever since the devil creatures appeared. She had never stopped killing. However, she was only ranked 13. That wasn't even in the top 10. Each person had a jade plate, and the rankings they saw were the same. Chu Yao had 3,107 kill points, while first place had already surpassed 10,000. Ruian's calculated it and says that for these devil creatures, killing 10,000 counts as one point, said Chu Yao. Her expression was solemn. No wonder Ku Jinying had said that she didn't have much confidence in Long Chen entering the top 10. It seemed the Martial Heaven continent was filled with hidden dragons and crouching tigers. These monstrous figures were coming out now, taking this chance to make their names shake the continent. 10,000 is just one point. In other words, Big Sister Ruian has already killed 30 million of them. As for first place, how terrifying exclaimed one of the wood cultivators. First place is someone called Xia Chen. Why does that name sound familiar? Wondered Gu Yang. First place was recorded as East. Grand Xia Xia Chen. The first word referred to what region he was in, with East representing the Eastern Xuan region. The second term was what power he belonged to, and then it was his name. It's not strange that he would be first. Long Chen smiled upon seeing that name. That mysterious fellow had finally appeared. Long Chen was also very curious about Xia Chen. Just what kind of person was he? Xia Yunchong had said that he came from a branch of the Grand Xia, but they didn't have any real details about him. He was too mysterious. Now he had shown his head, using the status of a member of the Grand Xia ancient nation to dominate the Devil Slaughter rankings. Perhaps it was to make the Grand Xia's name shake the continent? How can he be so terrifying? Ruian has never paused her attacks. Is his attack range and killing power even greater than Ruian's? Demanded Tang Wan'er competitively. I don't know if his killing power is above Ruian, but his attack range is definitely beyond your imagination. That's why it's not strange that he would be first place, said Long Chen. Why? Because he's a formation cultivator. That's practically cheating. All he has to do is establish a formation that kills all the devil creatures that enter it. In terms of area attack, he can make it as big as he wants. No one else can compare to him. What the fuck? That's definitely cheating. However, I'm not going to lose in terms of cheating. He, laughed Guo Ran. That evil, sinister expression of his gave others goosebumps. Xia Chen's clearly a member of the Eastern Xuan region. Why isn't he fighting with us? Asked Tang Wan'er. Isn't it simple? He's afraid of us taking his kills. So he entered the core region where no one would fight over kills with him. He can then kill indiscriminately. Said Long Chen lazily. This was the benefit of being alone. Unfortunately, Long Chen couldn't be a solitary hero. 
Isn't he afraid that we won't be able to hold back the devil creatures? If the devil creatures charged into the Grand Shia, wouldn't it be too late for him to regret his actions? Demanded Tang Wan'er. Long Chen gently pinched Tang Wan'er's stubborn nose. Do you have so little confidence in me? This fellow clearly knows that we'll have no problem defending our side. So he went out alone. Even a stranger has more confidence in me than you. Ah, I was wrong. Long Chen, don't get angry. Tang Wan'er laughed, putting on a cute expression. However, that cute expression of hers didn't look like the expression of someone admitting they were wrong no matter how you looked at it. Ranks 2 to 9 are all from the Central Xuan region. It seems the Central Xuan region really is powerful, said Men Chi as she observed the rankings. Tenth place was someone from the Southern Xuan region, which surprised everyone. Hadn't the Southern Xuan region's experts been annihilated? However, when they thought about it, some sects were so powerful that they didn't even care about the Jade Lake pageant, or perhaps there was nothing inside the Jade Lake sacred land that they wanted, so they hadn't participated. Hu Jinying had also said that some sects had been very low-key for many years. They hadn't had any disciples come out in hundreds or even thousands of years. However, that didn't mean that they would be silent forever. They were waiting for one opportunity to soar and restore their former glory. Sister Chu Yao's name has risen again. It's twelfth now, exclaimed Tang Wan'er. The kill points on the rankings were constantly increasing. Ruian hadn't paused from the start. She killed the majority of the devil creatures, while only allowing a few to charge out as training for the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. Tang Wan'er regretfully said, if Ruian fought all out, Chu Yao could definitely get in the top 10. This is just the start. These rankings are essentially meaningless for now. What matters is the last half month. If you use up all your energy at the start, not only will you lose your ranking, but you might also lose your life. Don't treat this battle as a game, and don't worry about these early rankings. All we need to do is save our energy for the final eruption, and we'll definitely surpass the others. Don't worry, first place will definitely belong to Guo Ran. His position cannot be touched by anyone, said Long Chen confidently. Him? Really Tang Wan'er glanced at Guo Ran. At some point, Guo Ran had taken out a table. He was sitting there, holding a translucent cup with wine in it. He was swirling the amber wine gently. This little fellow had finally learned how to act reserved in order to show off. Seeing everyone look at him, Guo Ran sighed. Perhaps you didn't realize, but ever since I joined the Dragonblood Legion, I've been hiding my true power. However, now the Martial Heaven Continent is in danger. Millions of lives are at risk. I feel like I can no longer be Loki. I have no choice but to take on the mantle of savior of the world and make the Dragonblood Legion's name resound through the cosmos. Guo Ran slowly drank the wine after speaking. He then crushed the cup, turning it to dust. Just watch. I, Guo Ran, will reveal my true power. My light will drown out all others. Ha 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 ha. Guo Ran's crazy laughter caused quite a few people to retreat from him. They looked at him warily. Some were covering their own bots. Boss Guo Ran couldn't have gone crazy again, right? Everyone, watch out for your butts, warned the Dragonblood warrior who had had his butt bitten by Guo Ran last time. Guo Ran coughed up a mouthful of blood. His crazy fit last time was now a permanent stain on his life. Even now, he had an urge to find a hole to bury himself in. It's too bad I don't see Sister's Hikyu. I wonder if she's participating this time? I miss her. Tang Wan'er suddenly thought of Yi's Hikyu. The sad scene of her sacrificing herself to save Long Chen reappeared in her mind. Don't worry, she'll definitely come. However, the Divine Ice Palace is equally as famous as the elusive music Immortal Palace, and it is also one of the protectors of the continent. They aren't under the administration of the Martial Heaven Alliance, so we can't receive much news of her. Once the real battle starts, the real experts will reveal themselves. Only at that time will it be possible to see who the truly powerful geniuses are, said Long Chen. Time passed bit by bit. Hua Shiaya was growing more confident with directing the army, and the disciples' cooperation also improved. The Empyreans were each leading a portion of the experts. They had formed eight groups, all eagerly attacking. They had lost their previous fear and were able to face the battle head-on. 
However, despite that, hundreds of disciples had still died after one day. This was unavoidable. Many people were like greenhouse flowers who only knew how to cultivate, but not how to fight life and death battles. For them to instantly adapt to such a harsh environment was very difficult. There wasn't enough time for them to get used to battle. Those unable to cope were cut down by the devil creature's claws. Only now did they realize how terrifying these creatures were. Their claws and teeth were highly toxic and could directly extinguish a person's yuan spirit. For only a few hundred people to die out of 180,000 experts was already an extremely remarkable result. Hua Xiaoyu had definite talent when it came to leadership. Long Chen, are you raising Hua Xiaoyu as your successor? Asked Meng Qi. Long Chen was sitting there, occasionally tossing medicinal pills into his mouth. He vaguely answered, it's not really raising her. Hua Xiaoyu is strong-minded and has some brains. Furthermore, she kills decisively and has the air of a general. If I'm not in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, she will definitely be capable of leading everyone. It was my arrival that changed her fate. I'm just returning the position that should have belonged to her. Is this insurance for the Zhuangshan Dao sect? Asked Meng Qi again. Long Chen was solemnly quiet for a moment. I suppose. In truth, I feel some kind of crisis is about to descend. I don't know the source of that feeling. So I don't know how to deal with it. The Zhuangshan Dao sect is my home. So I don't want to implicate it. I have to make preparations for it. Ever since advancing to the soul transformation realm, Long Chen had felt like there was a shadow on his heart. It was like a pair of invisible hands were approaching him from behind and might clamp down on his neck at any moment. That feeling of danger made it difficult for him to breathe. Seven days passed in the blink of an eye, and Chu Yao's name finally reached rank 10. Most likely, some people had used up too much energy at the start and so they were surpassed by Lu Ruian, who was fighting very steadily. On the seventh day, strange cries rang out from the distance drawing out startled cries from the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Chapter 1688 Compassion Cannot Lead Troops Translator Born to be the numbers of devil creatures had grown explosively, and giant beetles had suddenly appeared amongst them as well. These beetles were covered in golden armor. Each of them was only three meters. They mixed in with the previous giant lizards. The lizards possessed dangerous killing power, while these golden beetles were the opposite with immense defensive strength. Now that the two of them appeared at once, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were thrown into slight confusion. Should I interfere? Asked Meng Qi. As a soul cultivator, she instantly saw that these golden beetles' fatal defensive flaw was their spiritual defense. If she attacked, they would all collapse. No need. This is their battlefield. Long Chen shook his head. The Empyreans naturally didn't feel any pressure from these beetles. Rank 9 Celestials also didn't feel much threat. However, the pressure on the Rank 7 and Rank 8 Celestials increased. Quite a few people were injured in their panic, and casualties appeared. The strong survive. This is the law of this world. It's cruel. Even if you help them now, you wouldn't be able to help them for a lifetime. Each person has to fight for their own fate, said Long Chen. This cruel reality was something each person from the Dragonblood Legion had already experienced. As for the greenhouse flowers in front of them, they had to experience it too. Whoever's life was tougher would be the one to survive. Hua Xiaoyu immediately grew anxious upon seeing the casualties. Her panic caused her to make several errors with her orders, resulting in more casualties Long Chen, shouted Hua Xiaoyu, sweating. Compassion cannot lead troops. Long Chen shook his head and only indifferently said one thing. It wasn't that he had a heart of stone, but that if he wanted Hua Xiaoyu to grow up as fast as possible, she had to experience some setbacks. These golden beetles just have a slightly better defense. They look like a good combination with the lizards. However, in front of the Dragonblood Legion, they aren't worth crap. Any member of the Dragonblood Legion could have slaughtered them easily at the Foundation Forging Realm. The reason you're panicking is because you don't know what a real battle is, and what true slaughter is. If you hold a saber or sword and then brainlessly hack with it, that's not a real battle. You're just wasting your energy and lives. Zhao Lin, shouted Long Chen, present. The one who responded to his call was actually a woman. 
a wood cultivator who didn't specialize in fighting amongst the Dragonblood Legion. She was a healer and she walked over with a wooden staff. Go and demonstrate what a real battle is. Long Chen gestured to the battlefield. Yes. Zhao Lin shot past the formation of the Zhuangshan Dao sects with just a few graceful steps, charging straight into the army of devil creatures. She, seeing Zhao Lin charge into that mass of devil creatures with a wooden staff, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were dumbfounded. Was she going to fight a physical battle with the devil creatures? The strong should hold the line. Let the others watch closely, shouted Long Chen. Zhao Lin charged in, and a golden beetle attacked her first. When it approached her, it curled into its shell and used its body to directly smash into her. This was the most irritating thing about these golden beetles. Even if you killed it with your weapon while it was hurling itself at you, the power of this impact was enough to stagger a person and open them to the lizard's attacks. What startled people was that as the golden beetle crashed toward her, Zhao Lin didn't use her staff to attack it. Instead, she lightly jumped up and pressed on the edge of its shell with her foot. The golden beetle easily flipped over, and Zhao Lin lightly pressed her staff down on its head. Its head instantly exploded. Just as the golden beetle was killed in one attack, several of the lizards charged toward Zhao Lin. Her staff struck like a viper, striking a protrusion right below the front claws of the lizards. With just a press of her wooden staff, those lizards instantly stiffened and fell to the ground. They died just like that. Zhao Lin's figure continued to weave through the mass of devil creatures. Her staff accurately struck repeatedly. She was like a small boat soaring through the wild waves of a sea. But no matter how turbulent the sea grew, it was unable to sink her. On the contrary, it was the devil creatures that were constantly slain by her. A small mountain of devil creatures' corpses appeared beneath Zhao Lin's feet as more and more of them charged at her. She easily dodged all their attacks without leaving her mountain, not forgetting to make the mountain grow continuously larger. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were filled with reverence and worship for Zhao Lin upon seeing her kill the devil creature so easily. She hadn't even summoned her manifestation. Just relying on a wooden staff, she killed the devil creatures easily. Your current method of fighting is the most primitive type. All you know how to do is foolishly strike with your full power instead of looking for your opponent's weak points. Not only does that waste energy, but it will also put you in danger. All life forms have their own weaknesses. If you can grasp that, then even a terrifying enemy will become a rabbit. Other than that, fighting and killing are two completely different concepts. When you fight, you are protecting yourself. When you kill, you are putting your life on the line to take another life. I previously said that those who fear death the most die the easiest. Only when you forget your fear of death can you fight to your full potential. But just saying this, it's merely theories and principles. If you can't understand it, then you probably won't understand it even in death. This is the precious experience obtained by the Dragonblood Legion after walking the line between life and death. Zhao Lin, come back. This is your battlefield. If you want to become experts. If you want to reach the peak of the martial path, you have to overcome your fear of death. There are no shortcuts to this path. If you want to become an expert, this is something you'll have to face. The reason you aren't as strong as the Dragonblood Warriors is because you are restricted by your fear, while they managed to overcome it years ago. If you are really afraid of death, you can still retreat. The Dragonblood Legion will block these enemies. But if you want to become experts like us or even surpass us, then you can only go all out. Boom. Zhao Lin slammed her staff on the ground, and countless wooden stakes shot out of the ground, turning the devil creatures into shish kebabs. The wooden stakes then moved away, opening a path through the devil creatures. Just like that, Zhao Lin walked back to the Dragonblood Legion. Kill. I'm going to become a real expert. Even a woman dared to put her life on the line. If we didn't dare to, would we even be men? Why do we cultivate? Isn't it to become peerless experts that can step into even higher realms? To see a world that currently only exists in our imaginations. Kill. 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 Zhao Lin's actions fully stimulated these geniuses. A wood cultivator was actually able to charge into a sea of devil creatures without even summoning her manifestation and had slaughtered them as easily as drinking a cup of water. On the other hand, 
They were still quivering in fear. Some were so affected that they were injured and died. That was too embarrassing. A woman like Zhao Lin was able to overcome her fear of death, while they were still cowards. That made them hate themselves for being weak. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were fully provoked, and they started a furious slaughter. It was like their entire being had been ignited. Furthermore, they found that once they abandoned their apprehensions, their spiritual perception greatly improved. It felt like they had a subtle control of the surroundings that they hadn't had before. Because of their fear, their nerves had been tense. They were only able to act based on the attack right in front of them. After abandoning their fear, their field of view expanded. They could easily sense attacks coming even from behind them and easily dodge. In truth, these people had been geniuses from the start. They quickly entered a true battle state after being stimulated by Zhao Lin and forgetting their fear. Their combat power crazily grew. Their power wasn't actually rising. They were originally this strong, but their fear had restricted them. Even when they had felt like they were fighting all out, it was a misperception. Compared to before, their combat power was completely different. That made them feel even more reverence for Long Chen. Having entered this state, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were like a sharpened blade. They finally had the air of experts about them. If Li Xiangxuan saw this, he would definitely be moved. Perhaps only Long Chen had the ability to make people enter such a state so quickly. Don't randomly hack around. Use the least energy and price to kill your opponents. Furthermore, pay attention to attacking and retreating. Make it a cycle, and it will allow you to fight longer. Also, make sure to reserve some energy for life protecting measures against anything unexpected. Long Chen's voice echoed through the air. Seeing these disciples fighting like this, his own hands grew itchy. He also wished to fight. Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and the others had long since started rubbing their fists in impatience. Guo Ran especially wanted to charge out. He couldn't hold back from showing off much longer. However, Long Chen had not permitted them to fight. These devil creatures were too weak. This was the only good chance for the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples to train. It was also their only chance to understand the essence of battle before it was too late. This was the only way to effectively reduce the number of casualties when the battle progressed to its latter stages. If he allowed Guo Ran to show off now, these disciples would have to pay the price with their lives. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were constantly learning battle techniques under Long Chen's directions. Their progress was extremely quick as they had been geniuses from the start. Through this battle, they felt like they had completely transformed. More and more of the devil creatures appeared, but to these elite disciples, they were still nothing. Furthermore, the number of casualties dropped day by day, until on the most recent day, not a single disciple died. Long Chen, quick, take a look. Sisters Hikyu's name has appeared, shouted Tang Waner who had been watching the devil slaughter rankings the entire time. Chapter 1689 The Ice Fairy Translator Born to be in the depths of the devil abyss, on the battlefield belonging to the northern Xuan region, countless experts were fighting the devil creatures. This was the northern Xuan region's first line of defense. This battlefield was at the main channel, and they blocked the devil creatures from charging past them to the branches leading to individual sects. However, some heavenly geniuses had grown impatient and charged out beyond the battle line. Those who could come here were the best and most famous geniuses of their sects. Their goal was to enter the devil slaughter rankings. Over a hundred thousand experts were fighting right now, blocking the endless horde of devil creatures. However, it wasn't taxing on them at all. On the edge of the battlefield was a group of a few dozen experts sitting with their eyes closed. They weren't interested in the battle ahead at all. These people's auras were heavy. The power of the heavenly deos revolved around them, and the space around them was twisted just from their existence. However, just based on their heavenly dao fluctuations, they had to be empyreans, and even had to be outstanding even amongst other empyreans at that. They had no intention of participating in the current battle. Clearly, they disdained killing these devil creatures. They also knew that now wasn't the right time to charge onto the devil slaughter rankings. Just as these experts were indifferently sitting there, a white-robed woman walked out. She was like a fairy from another world, and she appeared without the slightest sound. 
When she walked out, the entire battlefield suddenly dropped in temperature. It was like winter had suddenly come. The woman gracefully walked forward. With each step she took, a flower-like ice crystal bloomed. Wherever she went became a world of ice. The earth was frozen, and snow fluttered in the sky. It was like an ice goddess had descended into the world. The ice fairy Yis Hikiu? Why would she come out this early? Those Empyreans sitting outside the battlefield were greatly shocked. They all recognized this ice fairy, who was known as the Divine Ice Palace's most outstanding disciple. She was their top expert in the junior generation and possessed her own legendary story. Rumor was that she had once died in battle, but experts had used an ice seed to freeze her soul in place. Using her soul as the bridge and her body as the lure, they had allowed her to undergo nirvanic rebirth, which had also awakened her ice spirit body Novaloon.com Although Yi's Hikiu's name had long since resounded throughout the northern Xuan region, that was only because she was known as the Divine Ice Palace's most outstanding disciple. Only a few people had ever seen her, let alone seen her fight, without summoning her manifestation, without activating any magical arts. She froze heaven and earth with just her aura. That was something only the legendary ice spirit body could accomplish. What a beautiful ice beauty. It's too bad she's too cold. Sighed an Empyrean emotionally. Yi's Hikiya was so beautiful that it was suffocating. Her white robes were like snow, while her black hair fell to her waist. However, when her beauty was described as suffocating, it wasn't just a description. It was reality. Just looking at her would make someone feel like their soul was about to freeze. Weaker disciples felt stabbing pain in their souls from taking a glance at her. That shocked everyone. If just looking at her caused this, wouldn't being looked at by her freeze you to death? Yi's Hikiu's face looked like a jade carving. It was flawless, a masterpiece of the heavens. However, this beautiful face didn't have the slightest emotion on it. If you had to say what kind of expressions she had. Then she only had two. One was icy, and one was icier. Her face hadn't changed at all from when she was in the eastern wasteland. However, her eyes had become frighteningly icy. No one dared to look her in the eyes. As she gracefully walked forward, the experts fighting immediately opened a path up for her. Just like that, she slowly walked toward the devil creatures. The area around Yi's Hikia was covered in ice. Those howling devil creatures were instantly frozen solid as soon as they entered her ice domain. Countless ice statues appeared as Yi's Hikia walked forward. Those statues were in charging postures. It was a strange sight. No devil creatures could even get close to her before being turned into ice statues. Even the Empyrean's expressions changed. Although these devil creatures were nothing in their eyes, they definitely wouldn't be able to kill them so easily with just their auras. What terrifying ice she sighed an Empyrean. This was a kind of power that caused despair. She was truly worthy of possessing the legendary ice spirit body. She was practically an unrivaled existence. Yi's Hikiu continued forward, leaving a path of ice statues. She quickly arrived at the place the devil creatures were charging out of. This place had a formation preventing her from going any further. This battlefield had been created to be in the shape of a funnel. The exit was smaller, creating a bottleneck that blocked the devil creatures and made it easier to defend against them. As for Yi's Hikiu, she was not standing at the widest part of the funnel. A huge ice crystal appeared and instantly exploded, shrouding the world in ice. Heavens, what kind of move is this? The battlefield had been instantly turned into a world of ice. All the devil creatures present had been turned into ice statues. All the roaring that filled the air came to a sudden stop. The world was deathly silent. It was as if it wasn't just the devil creatures that were frozen, but even time and space. In the next instant, the frozen statues exploded into ice fragments. There wasn't a trace of the devil creatures left. The huge battlefield was emptied in an instant. The only one standing at the core of the battlefield was Yi's Hikiu. That sight stunned all the northern Xuan region's disciples. With one move. She had emptied the battlefield. Was there any move more terrifying in this world? Yi's Hikiu slowly walked toward a corner of the battlefield. As she walked away, the ice and snow in the world faded. Very quickly, more devil creatures charged out as if nothing had happened. The place Yi's Hikiu had moved to quickly became a world of ice. A giant ice palace condensed around her. 
Yi's Hiki who sat on the throne. When she looked at the jade plate she held in her hand, finally a trace of emotion appeared in her eyes. However, that emotion wasn't something anyone else could read. 7th. Yi's Hiki who's amazing. What did she do to instantly charge to the front? Tang Wan Er cried out excitedly. What excited her wasn't that Yi's Hiki who was so strong, but that they had finally received some news about her. Zhikyu is giving us a greeting. Long Chen was also emotional as he looked at the jade plate. Although they had no way of meeting each other yet, Yi Zhikyu was clearly transmitting her emotions this way. Then I'll return it. Meng Chi smiled. Cloud suddenly transformed into her true body and Meng Chi jumped onto her back. Like a bolt of lightning, they flew to the core of the battlefield. The devil creatures that appeared on the battlefield only grew stronger. Some of them had eight arms and were comparable to ordinary life star experts. At the start, 10,000 of the weak devil creatures were only worth one point. Now, one of these more powerful devil creatures was worth one point. Meng Chi stood in the air. A pair of transparent wings appeared behind her. She pointed at the sky, and a miniature version of her appeared. It was her Yuan spirit. After condensing her Yuan spirit a second time, Meng Qi's spiritual strength had grown even more terrifying. Soul extinguishes life. A ripple spread from Meng Qi, like a ripple on a smooth lake. Those devil creatures stiffened and fell to the ground just like that. Their souls extinguished. The battlefield was emptied here as well. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples looked at Meng Qi with shock. If she were an enemy, how many of them could she kill with just one attack? Fortunately, Meng Qi was on their side. Eight. Meng Qi's name also appeared on the Devil Slaughter rankings. Chu Yao was originally 9th, but Yi's Hikyu had pushed her to 10th, and now Meng Qi had pushed her to 11th. That wasn't because Lu Ruian wasn't strong enough, but because Long Chen had told her to control the battlefield. She was giving the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples a chance to train. Otherwise, if Lu Ruian used her full power, Chu Yao's ranking would be even higher. In the northern Xuan region, Yi's Hikyu saw that familiar name appear on her jade plate, and a trace of warmth appeared in her icy eyes. Yi's Hikyu extended a hand, and her ice domain slowly shrank until it formed a small, ice world around her. She was now isolated from the outside world. She had already achieved her goal, so for now, she didn't need to do anything else. Long Chen, you were right. The best time to get on the Devil Slaughter rankings really is at the end. The ones at the start were all people without real power who just wanted to draw some attention to themselves while they could, said Tang Wan Er. This was evident from how Meng Chi and Yi's Hikyu had charged onto the rankings so easily. That's not certain. For example, Xia Chen has maintained first place the entire time. He's definitely powerful. Long Chen pointed to Xia Chen's name. That's true. After so many days, other people's ranks are constantly changing but no one has managed to shake his position. Perhaps he's a very conceited person who wants to maintain first place from start to end. Guest Gu Yang. I don't care who's first place. As long as one of us can get into the top 10, it'll be accomplishing the Alliance Head's mission. Otherwise, my butt might end up being beaten red, said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen, you don't want to fight for first, asked Tang Wan Er. Not really. Fame has its price. I don't want to be stared at by so many people. Long Chen shook his head. This kind of meaningless fame was just that. Meaningless. Boss, how about I go fight right now? Asked Guo Ran impatiently. It's still too early. Wait for Mo Nian to appear. You can fight when he appears. Long Chen laughed. He knew that Mo Nian definitely wouldn't let this chance to show off get away. Chapter 1694 Armed Devil Creatures Translator Born to be day after day passed. Other than Xia Chen whose position was unshackable. The top 10 on the Devil Slaughter rankings constantly changed. Chu Yao's name hovered between 9th and 13th. It could be seen how intense the fight for the top 10 was. As time passed, more devil creatures appeared. And they only grew stronger. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples clenched their teeth and bitterly fought. In a month, they had lost 23,000 people. By this time, the devil creatures had grown strong enough to threaten even their strongest members. Furthermore, more and more varieties of them appeared. 
some with strange fighting methods. Each time new varieties appeared, it would catch a few people off guard. The majority of those who died were sacrificed during those times. Some managed to escape with their Yuan spirits once their physical bodies were destroyed. Long Chen ordered those disciples to immediately return to the Zhuanchen Dao sect however. Some disciples refused to leave even after being reduced to their Yuan spirits. They continued to fight to the death. Seeing the companions fall one by one filled them with hatred, and they swore to avenge their fallen companions. The battlefield was the easiest place to form emotional ties with your comrades, especially when you saw them die. The emotions people hid inside them would instantly erupt, and their own lives wouldn't even feel that important anymore. However, they only had their Yuan spirits left, and they weren't Empyreans, so their Yuan spirits weren't very powerful. Staying here was suicide. Long Chen had Meng Qi forcibly send those people away. Having undergone the baptism of blood and fire, they had completely transformed into true warriors. As long as they didn't die, they would become pillars of the Zhuanchen Dao sect after a month of life and death battle. They had taken the first step, even though they had lost their bodies. That wasn't too bad. Each sect had secret arts that allowed experts to recreate a physical body. It was simply that those bodies wouldn't suit them as well as their original bodies. However, as long as you had money and were willing to spend it, then it was a different matter. In this world, there were very few things that money couldn't solve. Otherwise, Pill Valley wouldn't be glaring at the Huaian sect all the time while being helpless to do anything to them. The Huaian sect's attitude was always one of competing with whoever had the most money. For the people that had lost their physical bodies, the Zhuanchen Dao sect would be willing to spend a fortune to create a new physical body for them, one that definitely wouldn't be inferior to their old body. In fact, this new body might even be a bit better and wouldn't affect their talent. Suddenly, faint cracks appeared in the space ahead. It was like glass that was finally starting to break under immense pressure. Dragonblood Legion, prepare to move out. The real battle's starting. You're the main characters of this battle. So make sure you warm up and let our brothers learn what a real battle is. Shouted Long Chen. This place was one where the martial heaven continent space mixed with another world. For space to be torn apart like this, the spatial pressure had to have increased. In other words, even stronger devil creatures were about to appear. Ha ha ha, it's finally my turn. My blade has long since grown thirsty for blood. Laughed Guo Ran heroically. Boom. Space exploded. And the channel where the devil creatures were coming from grew by several times. A black flood poured out of it. That was a sea of countless large creatures. When they saw those devil creatures, the Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples expressions changed completely. These devil creatures actually looked humanoid. They were 10 meters tall with four arms that were bulging with muscles. They looked like iron, as if their bodies possessed so much power that it was exploding out of them. This was clearly a power-type devil creature. Each of them possessed a frightening aura. When it came to power, they definitely weren't weaker than them. Now, they were charging out like a flood, and that sight sparked despair. Just as that despair was sparked, Guo Ran charged forward in his golden armor. A pair of golden wings appeared on his back, and he had golden sabers. He shot out like a shooting star toward them, and a metallic voice rang out. The one who swept the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth. The one whose invincible dual saber slaughters devils and demons. Guo Ran, is here. A golden light smashed through the army of four, armed devil creatures. Guo Ran's dual sabers and wings flashed with divine light that transformed into four sharp saber images. Each was dozens of miles long and cut right through them. Any devil creatures touched by his saber images were torn apart. The entire sea of devil creatures was split by him. Kill. Following Guo Ran, the dragonblood warriors who had been thirsting for battle also charged out, pouncing on their enemies like wolves. Over 10,000 dragonblood warriors advanced. Flesh and blood flew everywhere. These dragonblood warriors advanced in a straight line formation, using this weak formation to directly crush their opponents. Not only did they stop their opponents, but they pushed them back as well. Before the battle, Long Chen had arranged for multiple battle lines and had the Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples guard their own sections. However, 
Each time new variants of devil creatures appeared, they would cause confusion that forced the battle lines back. By now, they had already been backed up against the wall Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had created. Now the dragon blood Legion was forcing the battle lines forward. As blood filled the air, the dragon blood warriors were like machines, reaping their opponents' lives. They quickly won back all the ground the disciples had lost. The dragon blood warriors' efficiency, their explosive power, the speed of their refined attacks, and their perfect cooperation amazed all the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Although these disciples had also done their best to cooperate with others while fighting, they fought mainly while thinking of themselves. But now they saw the dragon blood warriors fighting. They were a perfect unit of over 10,000 people working together seamlessly. Those terrifying four-armed devil creatures were cut down like tofu in front of their perfect cooperation. Shockingly, the dragon blood warriors hadn't even summoned their manifestations. Just this cooperation was enough for them to effortlessly slaughter these four-armed devil creatures. I always thought that group battles were limited and that the more people fighting together, the lower their overall power would drop. But now, I'm really amazed. Praised an Empyrean who was watching with respect. Experts disdained working together with each other. Furthermore, when two people worked together, their actual combat power wouldn't be 1 plus 1 equals 2. It might very likely still be 1 or even less than 1. To work together required trust. That was too rare. No one liked entrusting their lives into other people's hands. Remember, in this world, there is nothing that can survive on its own. At this moment, Long Chen walked over to those amazed disciples. A single drop of water would quickly vanish on its own. It must merge with the sea, using the power of the sea to resist the whittling of the heavens. As for the sea, it can't exist on its own or it would dry up sooner or later. It has to rely on the sustenance of the rivers flowing from the land, relying on the cycle of the elements to replenish itself. Stars can't exist on their own. They need to merge with the cosmos and live with the cycle of the cosmos. As for the cosmos, it definitely can't exist on its own either. As for what it relies on, that's not something people like us can figure out. The drop of water must trust the sea to live forever. The sea must trust the stars to survive eras. And the stars must cycle along the will of the cosmos to not extinguish. People have never been alone. Or there wouldn't be fathers, mothers, husbands and wives. Trust is the foundation of a person getting stronger. If you don't trust others, you won't gain other people's trust. Sincerity must be one with sincerity. Right now, you lack trust. So you can't get stronger. Why not try entrusting your lives to your companions once? When you feel other people entrust their lives to you, you'll understand the true meaning of life. All experts must possess their own convictions. Conviction. This world was like a hammer striking the hearts of these disciples. To entrust their own lives to others. That was something they had never thought of. That went against the instincts of a cultivator. However, they looked at the dragon blood warriors. Their absolute trust in each other deeply shook them. Could the trust between two people really reach the level where they would entrust their most precious lives to each other? Suddenly, roaring filled the air. Guo Ran had made a beautiful arc in the air and then descended again, slaughtering more of the devil creatures. As Guo Ran swept through them, each time forming a large path in the sea of devil creatures, his rank rapidly rose. He quickly reached 28th place. At the same time, Chu Yao's name dropped to 17th. Many foreign names suddenly appeared on the devil slaughter rankings. That meant that the appearance of the four-armed devil creatures had caused quite a few experts to come out. They were all starting to use their real power. Brothers, no need to go so all out. Leave a path. Even if you take all the meat, you have to leave some soup for the others. Shouted Long Chen. Ha ha ha. The dragon blood warriors laughed and opened a path in the middle, allowing a small portion of the devil creatures to get past. Brothers, your lives are mine, and my life is yours. We'll fight shoulder to shoulder today. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples charged into the battlefield that the Dragon Blood Legion had left them. Kill. Affected by Long Chen and the Dragon Blood warriors, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples also tried the same kind of cooperation. They clearly felt an increase in their combat power this time. In this kind of chaotic battle, working as a team was extremely important. 
if they were instead like scattered grains of sand, rather than fighting ten against one, they would be fighting one against ten. It wouldn't be long before they were individually taken out, in the central Xuan region's battlefield, in an extremely unremarkable region, a violet-robed man scowled. He held a six-sided magic cube in his hand. He softly prayed, it's already been a month, please, stop joking around with me, give me a powerful helper now, or it'll be too late. After saying that, the man tossed the cube, it spun in the air, slowly coming to a stop. One side of it lit up. Ha ha ha. Yes. I, Hu Fang, will definitely take a place in the top 10. Laughed the man. Chapter 1691 Hu Fang Translator. Born to be on the battlefield. The Dragon Blood Warriors and the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples were constantly killing devil creatures. As the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples learned how to cooperate, they did form a kind of life and death trust. They started to unleash the real power that experts on their level should possess. In truth, these disciples were all extremely talented. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's requirement criteria for the new disciple were very stringent. Someone who wasn't a genius wasn't even qualified to join. It was just that many of those people were greenhouse flowers who would die from a winter's breeze. Those who had been unable to adapt had already died, while those still persevering were now true warriors. If you were to say that they could only use half their power when they first came and were suppressed by their fear, then now they were using 120% of their power. That was due to their cooperation. Each person protected each other. Each person fought for others to recover. Each person created opportunities for the others. They were in complete control now. No matter how large a person's lung capacity was, they wouldn't be able to last forever underwater. However, if there were people switching off with them and each person had time to breathe, then they would be able to last forever. In this kind of huge battle where they had no idea when things would end, winning breathing room for each other was enough to decide whether they would live or die. From rookies who didn't even know how to fight, they had transformed into true warriors in just a month. The cruelty of the battlefield meant that you either adapted or died. There was no third path. Seeing them. I'm reminded of the Dragonblood Legion's early stages. Perhaps they will also become amazing warriors. Meng Chi stood by Long Chen's side, looking at the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples that were fighting intensely. Yes, in truth, they're already not bad. It's just that they were misguided by a bunch of idiots. I trust that after this battle, they'll have an even deeper understanding of life. Then they can truly grow. Long Chen nodded. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were fighting more and more fiercely, but instead of growing weary, they only became more refreshed. As for the Dragonblood warriors, they were the cornerstone of this battle. They controlled the tempo. Once they pushed back the devil creatures to the front lines, Long Chen ordered them to simply hold there. He had to give these disciples the maximum possible time to adapt. Once the real battle descended, they had to have grown even stronger. That was the only way to minimize the casualties. Without the first month of training, if they had encountered a battle on this level, then other than the Empyreans, the rest of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples would have all died. Long Chen was doing his best to give them time to grow. The most excited person on the battlefield was Guo Ran. The runes around his butt activated, and he shot back and forth like a bolt of golden lightning. He was like a hardworking farmer cutting through the weeds. Wherever Guo Ran went, the devil beasts collapsed. Guo Ran had been more than prepared this time. He had piles of resources that he could use to kill the devil creatures. It feels amazing to have money. Guo Ran laughed grandly. That arrogant appearance of his made others want to give him a beating so that he would fall from the sky. Long Chen couldn't help sighing emotionally. That golden armor of Guo Ran's was also a money-burning toy. Of the money that Long Chen had gathered during this time. At least two to three hundred spirit crystals had been used on it. However, Guo Ran's ability at transforming money into combat power was marvelous. In this cultivation world, money would always rank first. Innately, Guo Ran didn't have any talent. However, relying on his head, he made many bizarre inventions. With Long Chen's wealth added into the mix, he was soaring forcibly. This time, Guo Ran had decided to fully reveal his amazing skill. What's Guo Ran's rank? Asked Long Chen. He's already seventh. 
His speed's not bad, praised Tang Wan'er. On the edge of the battlefield, Luruian was still killing devil creatures, neither slowly nor quickly. After they died, their flesh was absorbed by Luruian's roots. Faint black mist had appeared around her giant body. Luruian had said that their flesh was useful to her. She wasn't fighting for ranking, but for that flesh. Her roots were spread throughout the battlefield. No matter who killed the devil beast, their flesh would be absorbed by her. Her aura was growing increasingly frightening. Chu Yao told Long Chen that this was one of the Undying Willow Race's divine abilities. They could kill experts to strengthen themselves. That made the Undying Willow Race very warlike. However, they were worthy of trust. So there was no need to worry. Lu Ruian had left the core of the battlefield to them now. She was killing devil creatures in the corner, causing Chu Yao's ranking to fall to 549. It could be seen how intense the fighting was now that the various experts had stepped in. Guo Ran danced through the battlefield like he was playing, but his efficiency was shocking. He was like a killing machine. The battlefield rocked, and each time he passed through the tide of devil creatures, it was unknown how many he killed. It looked completely effortless as if he was just playing around. At this time, people finally realized why Guo Ran had been so arrogant as to say he would get in the top 10. This kind of killing efficiency wasn't something others could compare to. Long Chen, look, this person, how is he rising so quickly? exclaimed Tang Wan'er suddenly. On the jade plate, one name was rapidly flashing. Normally, a single flash meant that a person's ranking had advanced. But this name had rapidly repeatedly flashed as soon as it had appeared. From under the 500, it charged into the top 100 in just a few breaths time. And even in the top 100, his name continued to rapidly flash and climb. Hu Fang? An expert from the southern Xuan region? How come I've never heard of such an expert in the southern Xuan region? Long Chen was startled. This kind of crazy rise in ranking had to be because of unleashing huge attacks and racking up kills. For example, Yi's Hikyu and Men Chi had unleashed large area attacks to show their names on the rankings for an instant. However, now the devil creatures were incredibly powerful, and some even had a strange immunity to certain magical arts. It was now very difficult to wipe them all out. According to reason, such a crazy speed was impossible now. 50, 27, 15, 9, heavens, how is his rank rising so quickly? Gu Yang also exclaimed in shock. Just how was Hu Feng doing this? In an instant, his name actually rose to the second rank. However, after reaching the second rank, his name stopped flashing. Even he was unable to shake Xia Chen's first place ranking. The sudden appearance of a dark horse like Hu Feng shocked even Long Chen. He didn't understand what this guy was thinking. For him to charge up the ranking so quickly, he had to be a top expert. But for such a top expert to attack at this time seemed off. Hu Jin Ying had already warned him about this. The Devil Abyss's eruption could be split into two portions. In the first portion, only weak creatures would appear with limited combat power. He was to preserve his energy for the second portion. The true bloody battle. The real experts were all waiting for that time. However, this Hu Feng had suddenly appeared. It was befuddling. Is he aiming at Xia Chen? Wandered people, did this Hu Feng dislike Xia Chen, so he wanted to kick him out of first place? I don't know, but it's fine. The real battle has yet to start. At this time, we must still fight steadily. Long Chen also couldn't understand what this Hu Feng was thinking, but in any case, they could just continue according to the plan. Fuck, is he forcing me to unleash my ultimate moves? Cursed Guo Ran. He had just gotten to rank 7 when he fell back to rank 8 because of Hu Feng, angering him. Hurry up and get to your work, raged Long Chen. Releasing his ultimate moves at this time was exactly the opposite of what Long Chen had just said. Only then did Guo Ran suppress his anger and continue killing. After three days, Guo Ran hadn't just taken his spot back but had also advanced to rank 6. Guo Ran was smiling brightly. The entire martial heaven continent was paying close attention to the devil slaughter rankings. How many eyes were staring at him right now, discussing his identity. Thinking of that, Guo Ran's smile threatened to split his face. Now, his fame would really shake the heavens. How amazing was that? Even after three days, 
Hu Feng's position didn't change. It didn't drop, nor did it rise. Xia Chen's position as rank 1 was unshackable. Why did this person's name suddenly turn dark? exclaimed Tang Wanur. The name of an expert who had climbed into the top 10 suddenly started to dim. It then vanished. It means that person's dead, said Long Chen flatly. But how is that possible? Such a powerful person. How did they die to these devil creatures? Tang Wanur couldn't believe it. Who said that they had to have died to the devil creatures? Wait, you mean, but isn't it unpermitted to fight amongst each other in the devil abyss? Foolish girl, rules are nothing more than a joke. Some people exist above the rules because they are strong enough that the rules can't restrict them. This person was likely killed by someone they had offended. I would even guess that the culprit is most likely the blood kill hall. Only the blood kill hall's experts have killing power sufficient to eliminate such a powerful existence without them being able to escape Long Chen smiled faintly. His sixth sense was telling him that the blood kill hall was starting to grow active again. Then it's a good thing that we're the only ones in the eastern Xuan region. At least, we won't be sneak attacked by others, said Gu Yang. Just as they were talking, space began to explode, and terrifying auras rose. It felt like the world would collapse. Zhuanshan Dao sect disciples, retreat. Dragonblood Legion, form the dual wing killing formation. The real battle starts now. Long Chen's expression turned serious as he looked at the crumbling space ahead. The second portion of the eruption had come. Chapter 1692 Heavenly Geniuses Reveal Themselves Translator. Born to be boom. Space exploded, and a huge hole appeared in the void. Large figures began to rush out of that hole. They were humanoid giants holding giant bone clubs. They charged at the Dragonblood Legion, and their bronze eyes filled with furious killing intent. Heavens, this is the legendary giant devil race, a high-level race even amongst the devil race. Their bloodline is extremely pure, and their power is heaven-shaking. They're comparable to rank 9 celestials. Startled cries rang out. These giants were recorded in the history of the continent. In the previous dark eras, these terrifying devils had caused endless grief to the continent. Although they had been eliminated in the end, the damage they had done in a short hundred years had made their name passed down in stories. Some elders even used the name of the giant devils to frighten children. They were demons from nightmares. They were insanely powerful and extremely bloodthirsty. They ate living humans and were said to be able to devour all life forms in order to replenish their energy and increase their power. Just looking at their large mouths and teeth gave people goosebumps. Their bone clubs and sharp teeth were their powerful martial weapons. They were just as hard as ancestral items, and in a one against one, a rank 9 celestial would have to pay a definite price to kill one of them. Isn't it said that they are the final power of the devil race? Each time they appear. Their numbers are limited to under a hundred thousand. But this time, seeing the endless giant devils pouring out of the spatial channel, the disciples felt a chill. Their numbers would probably have to be counted in the hundreds of millions. Ha ha ha, the meat has finally come. Brothers, don't blame me for being rude and eating first. Guo Ran laughed excitedly. He put away his dual sabers and flew into the sky. Huge spheres fell from his hands, landing amongst the giant devils. Each sphere was 30 meters thick. They exploded when they landed, leaving giant holes in the ground. However, it wasn't the power of their explosion that was so frightening. No, the frightening part was that every time they exploded, small broken fragments would shoot out in every direction. Those small fragments were incredibly sharp. They easily pierced the bodies of the giant devils as if their tough bodies were paper. Each fragment would fly through hundreds of their bodies before the momentum was cancelled out. Wherever they exploded, all the giant devils in a thousand miles would collapse. Those giant devils let out miserable cries when they were pierced by the fragments. Their bodies twitched and then stiffened. By the time they fell to the ground, they were dead from pain. Those fragments were the chains and blades Long Chen had taken from the skinners of purgatory. They had been turned into weapons by Guo Ran. They contained the air of purgatory and caused immense pain. However, unexpectedly, these giant devils had even less resistance to pain than humans. That was a pleasant surprise to Guo Ran. Ha ha ha, I'm taking first place, laughed Guo Ran as he continued chucking more of the giant spheres. 
With Guo Ran at the front bombing them indiscriminately, over half the giant devils were occupied. The remaining portion came for the Dragonblood Legion. The Dragonblood warriors were fighting seriously now. They had formed two giant circular formations, slaughtering the giant devils like spinning circular saws. Brothers, this is the real battle. There's no need for you to bother with the Dragonblood Legion's side, but if you don't want to just watch, go over to Luruian's side and work with her. However, you should remember that what came before was just practice. This is the real life and death battle. Take care. I hope that when we return, I can drink with you once more. Brothers, kill, shouted Long Chen. Kill, kill, kill. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were filled with confidence seeing Guo Ran take care of so many of the giant devils and the Dragonblood Legion's sharp killing movements. Adding on Long Chen's encouragement, they charged toward Lu Ruian's side. Here, Lu Ruian was in control. Her leaves were constantly slaying the giant devils. Having the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples work with her was the best tactic. Long Chen, look, the devil slaughter rankings have completely transformed, shouted Tang Wan'er, Guo Ran's rank 4, but other than Xia Chen, Hu Fang, and Guo Ran, the other top 10 have all been replaced by new names, said Gu Yang, the devil slaughter rankings revealed that rank 1, Xia Chen, had accumulated 1 billion 400 million kill points, Hu Fang was at 900 million, the third was a new name, an expert from the central Xuan region with 400 million kill points. Guo Ran was close behind him with 380 million kill points. The previously calm devil slaughter rankings were thrown into chaos. All the top 5,000 spots were crazily flashing as new experts entered the mix. The real experts have finally started to appear. Everyone recognized that the appearance of the giant devils meant that the real start of the battle had come. The true experts that had been lying in wait were waiting precisely for this moment. Dishin has appeared. Tang Wan'er let out a startled cry. Dishin had appeared at rank 17. That bastard really has a tough life. He actually didn't die. Long Chen coldly smiled as he looked at Dishin's name. In a deep abyss of the central Xuan region, an endless raging sea of black water was constantly crushing the giant devils. The water was like ink, and it spread at a rapid rate. The amount of water was shocking. Long Chen, I fully absorbed the water inheritance. This time, I'll make you die a miserable death. If you have the gods, then just come at me. Let's see just who takes first place. Within the center of the sea, Di Xin's originally handsome face was twisted into a sinister expression. Heroes of the Southern Xuan region, thank you for your support before. Leave this battlefield to my elusive music immortal palace. In the abyss of the southern Xuan region, hundreds of thousands of experts retreated, replaced with thousands of women. They descended from the sky like transcendent fairies. Zither music rang out, but it no longer sounded beautiful. Instead, it was filled with killing intent. Sound waves spread, and any giant devils touched by them would stiffen. Their bodies would then rapidly inflate and finally explode. A jade hand lightly touched a string of the seven string sea suppressing zither. A giant ripple spread and covered half the battlefield, killing countless giant devils. The entire battlefield became empty. Zi Yan stood in the sky, looking into the distance. She sighed. Long Chen, is this our fate? In the northern Xuan region, ice covered the battlefield, and countless devil creatures were slain. The human experts stared in shock at the distant white-robed woman. Yi's Hikia was like an ice goddess, sacred and noble, beneath her feet. A ripple of ice spread, turning the charging devil creatures into beautiful ice crystals that filled the air. As for the giant devils, they charged at her wave after wave. As a result, wave after wave became encased in ice and exploded. Ten years I wandered with my bow, my arrows causing heaven and earth to shake. The nine heavens, ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me. Only I, Mo Nian, will rise to glory. Cough. It seems after not showing off for so many years, my skill in it has regressed. My beautiful lines no longer have the same flavor as back then. Mo Nian stood at up a tall rock. A hood covered the majority of his face. He wanted to shout loudly, but for some reason, he found that he couldn't. His voice was drowned out by the roaring of devil creatures and the sounds of slaughter. Fuck. 
This is my first failure in showing off. It seems I've been away from the rest of the world for too long. People have already forgotten my legend. Time to show myself off. Mo Nian couldn't help but feel irritated upon seeing that his actions couldn't draw any attention from the other experts. A five-colored bow appeared in his hand. He pulled the string with his right hand, and it instantly arced perfectly. The world began to shake. What's going on? As Mo Nian pulled his bowstring, five-colored light soared into the sky, causing resonance with heaven and earth. Astral wind surged out of him. It was like a giant five-colored dragon was enveloping him. He instantly drew the attention of all the experts. Suddenly, a five-colored arrow flew out of his bow. Its resplendent divine light looked like all the stars of the sky were shooting out with it. Boom. The arrow exploded in the center of the devil creatures, its light devouring the majority of the battlefield. Anything touched by its divine light was turned to nothingness, even the giant devils. Sorry, I'll have to borrow this place from everyone. It took me a long time to find a place with such nice feng shui. To avoid any misunderstandings, I'll ask everyone to retreat to a safe distance. With one arrow, Mo Nian shook the heavens, the earth, and all the experts present. They immediately retreated. Some people going to find another region to fight. Long Chen, I've shown myself. What are you still waiting for? After so many years apart, are you no longer able to keep up with me? Everyone's expressions satisfied Mo Nian greatly. He looked at his jade plate with a smile. Di Xin, Zi Yan, Yi Hikyu, Mo Nian, and other names finally appeared on the Devil Slaughter rankings. Long Chen took a deep breath. Since they had all come out, he couldn't be too lazy. Let's go. We'll give a greeting to our old friends. Long Chen waved his hand, moving toward the front of the battlefield with Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Yu Zifeng and the others. Chapter 1693 Everyone coming out to fight translator. Born to be Tang Wan'er and the others had been waiting for a long time. Now, their chance had come, and they charged out individually into the sea of devil creatures. Wherever Tang Wan'er went, space would twist ever so slightly. Any devil creatures close to her would be torn to shreds by invisible blades. That sight was strange and terrifying. Tang Wan'er's wind blades had already reached a practically heaven-defying level, a realm where movement turned into stillness. She killed her enemies without them even sensing her attack. Cloud transformed into the true body of a cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. Rainbow runes revolved around her. She opened her mouth, and a black line of light shot through the battlefield. Anything touched by the black light turned into nothingness. This was a divine ability of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. Anything touched by the black light would vanish. Meng Chi didn't participate. Staying by Long Chen, Chu Ya smiled and said, Big sister, go ahead and attack. I'll make sure to look after everyone. Chu Ya knew that in any large battle, there had to be someone controlling the overall battlefield. Although the dragon blood legion didn't need someone to look after them. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples were still in danger in a fight of this level. Those disciples were the pillars Long Chen had left to uphold the Zhuanshan Dao sect. He wanted as many of them to return alive as possible. That was why there needed to be someone staying back to help them. Men Chi shook her head. You should go instead. These giant devil spiritual fluctuations are strange. I can't kill them all instantly like before unless I waste a huge amount of my soul energy. It would be better for you to go attack. Your wood attacks cost less and are so sharp. Plus, with you and Ruian working together, it will be easier for you to charge onto the devil slaughter rankings. In the face of these strange devil creatures, my own killing power is reduced, but causing a few of them to lose their minds temporarily is still easily done. I'm the one most suitable for controlling the entire battlefield when Meng Chi put it like this. Chu Yao looked at Long Chen. Long Chen smiled. Let's just do as Meng Chi says. Chu Yao nodded and chose a region for herself. Wooden stakes appeared out of the ground like sharp nails. The devil creatures in her region ran into calamity. This seems a bit terrifying. I feel a cold breeze down below. Seeing that the trap Chu Yao had arranged was destroying the lower bodies of the devil creatures. Gu Yang shivered. It really does look a bit painful. Let's just not look, said Long Chen. The earth birthed wood. 
Having her wooden stakes grow out of the ground was the most energy-efficient way for Chu Yao to attack. That way, she could draw out spiritual qi from the earth to replenish her spiritual yuan. She was practically not using any energy to kill them at all. However, a beautiful woman constantly causing the lower bodies of the devil creatures to explode was a bit difficult to watch. Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan also charged into the fray. Gu Yang charged through the devil creatures with a spear, while Li Qi and Song Mingyuan simply summoned their spirits of the earth, which were those earthen giants they had summoned at the start. They pummeled the devil creatures. Each step of the earth giants caused a shockwave to spread through the ground. Those shockwaves blew apart the devil creatures. Ziffeng, there's no need for you to attack. Just preserve your energy. Actually, if you can project the devil slaughter rankings into the sky, it will be easier for us to keep track of what's going on, said Long Chen. Yu Ziffeng's attacks were incomparably sharp. However, they were like a torrential storm. His attacks were powerful, but he couldn't repeatedly use his strongest attacks over a long period. He was unsuitable for this kind of battle. All right, Yu Ziffeng took out his jade plate and sent his spiritual strength into it. A projection of it appeared in the sky with the current rankings. First place was still Xia Chen, with 2 billion kill points. As for second place, it was no longer Hu Fang, but Di Xin. He was just 100 million kill points off of catching up to Xia Chen. It seems that the water inheritance has been fully refined by Di Xin, allowing his power to grow. HMPH. Such a good treasure was wasted on a pig like him. Long Chen spat on the ground. Just thinking of Di Xin disgusted him. Hu Feng was third, while fourth was Guo Ran. Fifth was actually Zi Yan. Long Chen knew that Zi Yan's power, when combined with the seven string C suppressing zither, was absolutely terrifying. Her musical attacks could kill devil creatures in huge numbers. Sixth was a foreign name, someone who came from the central Xuan region. Their name was Qin Ziaoxi, a woman's name. When he saw seventh place, Long Chen was startled. At some point, the pill fairy's name had silently risen through the rankings. I suppose there's nothing curious about it. Pill Valley definitely wouldn't give up this chance to show their power. If they didn't get a good ranking, they would lose face, thought Long Chen. He had clashed with Pill Valley several times now. Each time, he had made them leave after a crushing defeat, which had caused their prestige to drop. Pill Valley needed to win back that face. It seemed that this heavy mission had been entrusted to the Pill Fairy. Eighth place was another expert from the central Xuan region that he didn't recognize. Ninth was Yi Hikyu. She was extremely powerful to actually be ninth. When he saw tenth place, Long Chen smiled. That fellow Mo Nian had managed to kill his way there. Long Chen knew that Mo Nian didn't specialize in huge area attacks. However, he still managed to get into the top ten. He had to be working hard, with Chu Yao joining in, combined with Lu Ruyan's kills going to her. Her ranking was rapidly rising. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had joined in a bit late. So for now, they couldn't get into the top 500. As for Gu Yang, Long Chen couldn't be bothered to look. Who knew what kind of last place ranking he was fighting for right now? Boss, have we gone above and beyond for the mission this time? shouted Guo Ran as he constantly threw his bombs. It went without saying that Guo Ran was truly skilled when it came to forging. He had some kind of magnetic item on him that would pull the sharp fragments back to him after they exploded. He then added them into new bombs and tossed them out again. You're thinking too simply. Just wait. In a bit, you'll all be knocked down. Long Chen shook his head and didn't pay any more attention to Guo Ran. He flew off toward the source of the Devil Abyss's eruption. The battlefield was constantly being forced to expand by the spatial pressure here. Before, the Dragonblood Legion had been able to hold back the flood. However, now, as the battlefield grew larger, the Dragonblood Legion had no choice but to retreat into the channel. One reason was because they couldn't allow the Devil creatures to attack the wall behind them, while another was to protect the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. They had to make their preparations for a long-term battle. No one knew when this battle would end. Now Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and the others had joined the battle. They were all handling their own regions. 
unleashing huge area attacks that blocked the majority of the devil creatures. As they were controlling the tempo of the battle, there was no need for Long Chen to worry about them yet. As for the Dragon Blood Warriors, this kind of battle wasn't anything to them considering their experience. It was also unable to threaten their lives. Without having to worry about this, Long Chen shot past the battlefield, diving past the sea of devil creatures to where they were coming from. Li Xiangxuan had given Long Chen a detailed explanation of the structure of the Devil Abyss. There was a giant spatial node in the Martial Heaven Continent's underground. This was a place where the Martial Heaven Continent met a Devil World. The Devil creatures were coming from the Devil World. But thanks to the restrictions of the formations left behind by ancient almighty experts, they could only invade through five spatial openings. This way, a giant flood was split in five. Rumor was that the central Xuan region was there to draw the focus of the devil creatures. So 40% of the devil creatures were drawn there. The rest were evenly divided between the east, west, north, and south. The formations gave the martial heaven continents experts breathing room. They wouldn't be immediately overwhelmed by a huge flood of devil creatures. If it weren't for the formations left behind by those ancient experts, the martial heaven continent might have been devastated by the devil creatures already. Here, Long Chen could see a giant spatial opening. There were countless runes here, and it was like a giant whirlpool. The devil creatures were coming out of the center of that whirlpool. When Long Chen arrived, countless devil creatures attacked him but he merely snorted and summoned golden flames around him. Any devil creatures that entered his flame domain would be turned to ash in less than a breath's time. That surprised him a bit. He hadn't expected the heaven incinerating flame to be so effective against these devil creatures. It had to be known that they were no weaker than ordinary rank 9 celestials, but they weren't able to block the heaven incinerating flame. They had to be weak to it. Long Chen ignored the devil creatures and continued examining the whirlpool. He stretched his divine sense inside. His divine sense passed the whirlpool. Inside was a giant spatial channel tens of thousands of miles wide. When he saw the situation in the other world, he couldn't help gasping. Damn, there are actually this many more. At the end of the channel, he saw countless devil creatures. Furthermore, there were even more varieties of them. He saw birds apes, humanoid creatures with snake tails, etc. He also saw a golden sea up in the air. That golden sea was a giant pack of inch-long mosquitoes. They looked like they had been made of gold, except their mouth was pitch black. Fuck. These are the legendary shadowless golden mosquitoes Long Chen jumped. Legend was that these creatures could activate their golden runes to fade into the air and vanish from sight. Their mouths were extremely sharp and once they stabbed a person's flesh, they would instantly poison them. A person's body would instantly rot, with not even their bones surviving. If their Yuan spirit didn't run fast enough, it would also die. They were renowned creatures. These devil creatures were attacking the channel with all their might. It seemed they were trying to make it larger, or break it down so that they could all enter at once. The giant devils that had entered the channel so far were nothing more than a drop in the ocean compared to this giant army. I can't just wait. I need to take some initiative. Long Chen summoned a golden flame sphere. It instantly grew to thousands of meters until it was like a blazing star. He sent it into the channel. It was like a shooting star as it went against the flow of the devil creatures. Any devil creatures in its path were killed. It shot straight to the end of the channel. The devil creatures were in the midst of attacking the channel when this sphere flew out of it, stunning them. It seemed they didn't sense any danger from the sphere. Explode. Chapter 1694. One move to stun the world the golden shooting star shot through the spatial channel and exploded amongst the sea of devil creatures. The golden flames devoured them. On the other side of the channel, the devil creatures were packed even high into the air. The explosion covered an extraordinary number of them. The golden mosquitoes were instantly turned to ash. The shadowless golden mosquitoes were weak to fire. With this one starfall, Long Chen's kill points instantly rose to over 30 million. He charged into the top 500 just like that. I have to eliminate these shadowless golden mosquitoes as fast as possible. If they get through, it'll be troublesome. Long Chen knew that when the shadowless golden mosquitoes entered a battle state, 
they would hide themselves in the air, making themselves imperceptible to a person's eyes and their spiritual senses. They possessed frightening killing power. The other devil creatures could be ignored, but the shadowless golden mosquitoes had to be eliminated as soon as possible. This channel was created by ancient experts. The devil creatures were constantly attacking it, and each time they succeeded in breaking it a bit, it would grow larger, allowing more powerful devil creatures to charge in. Currently, only the giant devils were capable of passing through. It seemed the others were being restricted by something and couldn't enter. In the past, the devil abyss's eruption was split into two portions, the first eruption and the second eruption. The second eruption was when the real battle started. However, Hu Jinying had said that the descent of a great era threw those past precedents in the garbage. This time, the devil abyss's eruption would be on an unprecedented scale. Based on what he saw, there would at least be another eruption. If the channel was forced any larger, these devil creatures would all instantly charge in. Perhaps the Dragonblood Legion would be able to handle it, but the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples would take heavy losses. This channel was extremely strange. Long Chen found that he couldn't charge through it. He could only launch attacks from the other side. Of course, this had benefits as well. He could attack them, but the devil creatures on the other side couldn't strike back. Nine star beads. Long Chen formed hand seals, and nine flame spheres shot out in a straight line. They exploded on the other side. A single sphere exploded into nine smaller ones, and those smaller flame spheres would explode and condense into nine more smaller spheres. This would occur nine times. This was a magical art he had learned in Pill Valley. However, he had modified it to make its power absolutely monstrous. This move actually didn't have much killing power on its own. However, it was huge in scale and allowed him to devour the world on the other side in the heaven incinerating flames. Its area of effect was huge, but naturally the larger the area of effect, the weaker an attack would be. The more powerful devil creatures wailed upon being burned. However, the flames would go out in a few seconds on their bodies. The flames alone couldn't kill them. Long Chen had expected that from the start. His target wasn't those devil creatures. It was the endless shadowless golden mosquitoes in the air. They were extremely weak to his flames. And once ignited, it was like the flames would enter their stomachs. They would explode. After this move, there was no trace of anything golden in the air. What the fuck? Boss, calm down. You've taken first place with 2,600,000,000 kill points, shouted Guo Ran. Long Chen was startled. He hastily looked over to see the devil slaughter rankings in the sky. He had actually appeared in first place, while second place was now Xia Chen. The kill points awarded are based on the target's killing power. These shadowless golden mosquitoes must be worth a huge number of points each, meaning they were really frightening Long Chen patted himself on the back for killing them. If he had allowed them to attack everyone, it would have been really dangerous. Unless a person killed the mosquitoes as they attacked, it was almost impossible to kill them while they were hidden. Taking first place instantly wasn't something he had expected. However, this actually raised his wariness. He absolutely couldn't be careless, or the slightest mistake would lead to huge losses. Boss, why have you stopped? Keep killing, said Guo Ran. You kill for me. You're the main force. Long Chen waved his hand. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, stop attacking for now. Set up some powerful fortifications the kind that can be used for both offense and defense. Long Chen called over Li Qi and Song Mingyuan. He pointed to over 10 places where forts could be built in the channel they were defending. Boss, why bother? Li Qi and Song Mingyuan didn't understand. As long as everyone fought, killing these devil creatures wasn't difficult. It's just in case, and a path of retreat for the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. They can't compare to the Dragonblood warriors. So having something they can depend on is very important for them, said Long Chen solemnly. Once the fortifications were built, Long Chen called over the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. He had Hua Xiaoyu teach them how to use the fort's offensive and defensive measures. Long Chen, did something happen? Meng Qi was the first to realize something was wrong, and she sent a message to Long Chen. Long Chen replied, just now, I saw some winged devils on the other side. I got a bad feeling. 
Hu Jianying's words might really come to pass. This eruption of the Devil Abyss will be unprecedented in history winged devils? You mean, yes, just like those winged devils we've seen before. I don't know if it was a misperception or not, but I feel very uneasy. Tell everyone to be careful at all times. Make sure they save their energy to handle anything unexpected. An even larger battle will come soon. As for the disciples of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, don't tell them this to avoid them getting nervous. Men Chi nodded and passed Long Chen's orders to everyone. After learning that there were even more terrifying devil creatures in the rear, the Dragonblood warriors weren't affected at all. Instead, they were filled with battle intent. Guo Ran especially was shouting excitedly and fought even more energetically. After attacking once, Long Chen didn't attack again. However, his name had instantly taken the top spot of the Devil Slaughter rankings, that had shaken the Martial Heaven continent. Countless people stared at that name with disbelief. Long Chen, you really have some skill. You're truly powerful. Within an abyss, a man who appeared to be in his early twenties was sitting lotus style on the ground. His complexion was fair and delicate. He had a foot-long square formation board. No one knew that this seemingly delicate, scholarly man was the one who had dominated first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings for over a month. Xia Chen. From an aerial viewpoint, a petal-like image was on the ground. The petal was huge, covering a hundred thousand miles. This image had countless wooden pillars stuck in the ground within it. Those stone pillars were flashing with countless runes. They constantly interwove, forming a giant formation. Any devil creatures that entered the formation were blown apart. The stone pillars would merely light up slightly to kill them, and anything of value on their bodies, be it their bone clubs, teeth, and claws, would vanish, sucked into a spatial ring possessed by Xia Chen. This was an absolutely terrifying formation. Xia Chen was just sitting there, and he completely blocked this exit. He was like an idol trap master, just waiting for the devil creatures to come to him. If people saw this, they would definitely be so angered as to cough up blood. This was practically cheating. Others were risking their lives and working as hard as possible to kill the devil creatures. While he was calmly sitting there, waiting for his prey to come to him, he looked far too relaxed. Seeing that his first place had been taken, Xia Chen merely smiled. He didn't seem to care that much. Long Chen, I'm taking first. Although you've helped my grand Shia a lot, I'm not very willing to see my spot on the Devil Slaughter ranking be taken. Shia Chen smiled slightly. He was full of confidence. He closed his eyes, not doing anything. He completely ignored the devil creatures that were still charging forward to their deaths. Long Chen, you bastard. You're definitely cheating roared Di Xin. His face was twisted with hatred. In an effort to get first place, Di Xin was unwilling to guard one place. He was going in every direction, attacking wherever the most devil creatures were. Quite a few experts were forced away because of him. He had been very close to surpassing Xia Chen. As long as he found another place with many devil creatures, he would have taken first place. However, Long Chen had suddenly appeared, instantly taking first place as if it was as easy as breathing to him. Compared to Long Chen, his frantic rush to kill devil creatures was embarrassing. Even if he did take first place, it wouldn't have any glory to it. Long Chen took first place like he was playing around. That had a huge impact on others. Di Xin, in particular, couldn't accept it. He was clenching his teeth so hard that they almost shattered. Bastard, don't get too arrogant. Let's see if you can be so pleased when the strongest devil creatures appear in the end sneered Di Xin. He took first place just like that? I, Mo Nian, can only admire such showing off. Mo Nian was also shocked by Long Chen's sudden climb on the Devil Slaughter rankings. The Western Xuan region was different from the Eastern Xuan region. The Eastern Xuan region had one direct channel, but the Western Xuan region had many channels, with people defending each one. They couldn't sense the huge army of devil creatures lying in wait behind the main spatial channel. Long Chen had accidentally shown off when he had just been trying to kill the shadowless golden mosquitoes. Mo Nian might not be aware of what was happening in the eastern Xuan region, but with his understanding of Long Chen, he was sure he had to have run into a coincidental opportunity. After taking that one opportunity, 
Long Chen's kill points didn't go up again. Without any other knowledge of what had happened, it looked like Long Chen had let out a random attack, taken first place, and then felt like the battle was too boring, so he couldn't be bothered to keep fighting. That was why Mo Nian could only say that he admired Long Chen's showing off. He didn't know how many people's jaws had fallen to the ground because of Long Chen's one attack. In the depths of the Devil Abyss, in an unremarkable corner, there was a very pretty girl wrapped in a black cloak. Although only the lower part of her face was revealed under her hood, she looked like a refined porcelain doll. Big Brother Long Chen, I wonder if you'll remember that little girl when you see my name. Perhaps you've long since forgotten my name. The teenage girl gently rubbed a jade plate, or more accurately, the name on the jade plate that was first place. She couldn't help sighing. Chapter 1695 Unleashing a big move the entire devil abyss shook. The channel ahead grew explosively once more, widening by several times. A horde of devil creatures poured forth. This time, dozens of new kinds of devil creatures appeared. There were leopards, tigers, snakes, and all kinds of other creatures the size of small mountains. The third eruption Gu Yang's heart was a bit heavy as he witnessed the horde of devil creatures pour forth. In the past, the devil abyss would only erupt twice before ending. But now, a third eruption had occurred. These new devil creatures were even stronger. In a one against one, even most rank 9 celestials would find it very difficult to fight them. Furthermore, with the current proportion of humans to devil creatures, one person was fighting dozens of them at once. No wonder boss wanted us to put up more forts. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan exchanged a glance. Long Chen had known that even more terrifying devil creatures were coming. Everyone, work together with the forts. Your mission is no longer to kill devil creatures, but to make sure your neck stay attached, shouted Long Chen to the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. After so much fighting, their numbers had dwindled to under 130,000. It could be seen how bitter this fight had been. This was the cruelty of cultivation. Even if you were talented, even if you were determined, even if you weren't afraid of dying, the heavenly deos would ensure some were mercilessly eliminated no matter what. No one could change this reality. However, not one person had died in the dragon blood legion, let alone deaths. None had even been injured yet. This showed just how terrifying the combat power of the dragon blood legion was. There was a giant gulf between them and the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. Dragonblood warriors, hear my orders. Switch to the defensive circular arc formation. Don't focus on killing more devil creatures. Conserve your energy and make sure you stay alive, ordered Long Chen. Boss, they still have plenty of energy. Isn't this too conservative? Asked Gu Yang. After all. The Dragon Blood Legion had been completely transformed after using the Blood Essence Stone and Blood Soul Stone. Whether it was in terms of their physical bodies or their Yuan spirits, they were completely different. Even the Dragon Blood Warriors themselves didn't know just how strong they were right now, and so they wanted a battle that would take their full power in order to test themselves. However, Long Chen had made them hold back their strength from the start. The huge tide of devil creatures had just made their eyes light up when he told them to focus on defense. This eruption is on a level beyond anyone's expectations. Each bit of power we can preserve is another trump card protecting our lives. When lives are compared to showing off, which one is more important? Demanded Long Chen. Sorry boss, it wasn't to show off. I just I know. Don't worry about it. This will definitely be a bitter battle. In the end. You won't be able to hold back even if you want to. Fight steadily yes. Gu Yang rushed to the front of the battle. And his Empyrean manifestation appeared behind him. His spear unleashed a huge spear image that pierced through the devil creature army. Flesh and blood flew through the air. What shocked people was that Gu Yang's attack had lost effect. Before this. Any devil creatures struck by his attack would instantly die. Gu Yang's attacks didn't cover a huge area. But because their power was concentrated, they were extremely powerful. However, now, only half of the devil creatures died. The other half were only injured. The devil creatures have gotten even stronger. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples couldn't help but feel fear. In all of history, there had never been a third eruption. The auras of these devil creatures sparked despair. 
Even the Empyreans felt afraid. Furthermore, looking up at the Devil Slaughter rankings projected in the air, they saw many names that flashed a few times and then dimmed. That meant that powerful heavenly geniuses were dying. Anyone capable of getting into the Devil Slaughter rankings was a top genius. Even experts like that were unable to keep themselves alive. For them to feel afraid was normal. The only thing that comforted them was that from start to finish, Long Chen's expression was extremely calm. It was like everything was within his expectations. Furthermore, once Long Chen ordered a switch to a defensive formation, they felt even safer. Their confidence grew. Long Chen was like a mental pillar for them. As long as he was here, they would be fine. Following the third eruption, Meng Qi also went out to fight. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples had already taken a position of absolute defense, and no longer needed her. Before this, Meng Qi's defense had been limited to any large number of devil creatures that broke through the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples' defense. In such a large-scale battle, even she was unable to look after each and every person. Now, she no longer needed to look after them and went out to fight just like Chu Yao, Tang Wan or Lu Ruian, Cloud, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan. They were all skilled in long-range wide area attacks, as they were all attacking their own regions. Only a portion of the devil creatures was able to squeeze past the cracks between their attacks. Then they faced the defensive line of the Dragonblood Warriors. Only a few fish that escaped the net would be able to reach the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. By that point, those disciples were easily able to kill them. Boss, my ranking keeps falling, cried Guo Ran, looking over at Long Chen. He had already dropped to rank 67. The fighting for the higher rankings was too vicious, and each of the experts was monstrous. Six hours after the third eruption, Guo Ran's name was being trampled. You deserve it. Didn't I tell you the real fight started at the end? But you just had to show off early. If you had kept those things until now, first place would definitely be you, said Long Chen irritably. Guo Ran's shrapnel bombs were killer, and Long Chen had told him to save them and rely on his sabers instead. There was no need to rush his showing off. However, Guo Ran's heart had been itching, and seeing others show off, he hadn't been able to hold it any longer. He completely forgot Long Chen's instructions. These items that came from Purgatory definitely had terrifying offensive power. However, their energy was not limitless. When those fragments stabbed through a person's body, it would cause immense pain. But each time they activated, it would cost some of their energy. Eventually, they would turn to scrap. Although the fragments had yet to turn to scrap, Guo Ran had used them thousands of times now. Their effect was already greatly reduced. Now, each bomb would only kill a portion of the devil creatures caught in the center of the explosion. As for the fragments that flew in every direction, the devil creatures struck would just roar a bit and then keep going. So although Guo Ran was still doing his best to indiscriminately bomb the devil creatures, his ranking continued to fall. It was falling so much that Guo Ran was starting to question his life. As for Long Chen's ranking, he hadn't attacked again, so his first place ranking had already fallen to 23. After the third eruption, his ranking continued to tumble down. Xia Chen had taken back his first place on the Devil Slaughter rankings, holding steady with 5,300,000,000 kill points. Second was Di Xin, with 4,800,000,000 kill points. He was putting in work with the third eruption. Third place was Zi Yan. Her attacks were truly terrifying. She was close to surpassing Di Xin. Their kill points were less than a hundred million apart. However, Mo Nian, Hu Fang, the Pill Fairy, and Yi's Hikyu's names had fallen out of the top ten. They were completely replaced with experts from the central Xuan region. Long Chen was first startled, but then realized that these people were either comparatively low-key or had been preserving for their strength for a final burst. That, or they were like him and needed to look after other experts, meaning they couldn't fight freely. After all, not everyone was like Di Xin, simple-mindedly caring only about his ranking. Boss, take a look, don't you think? Guo Ran suddenly smiled in a strange way. Scram, are you starting to get itchy again? You've already finished your showing off, so you better behave now, warned Long Chen. Boss, just look, not one of us is in the top ten. 
If you don't want me to use that, then you can just attack instead. Take back first place, or you'll just be bored. Kajol Guo Ran. Guo Ran was truly powerful, but compared to the most powerful existences on the Devil Slaughter rankings, his mass killing techniques were still lacking. Take Gu Yang for example. He had killed so many devil creatures, but his name had yet to appear on the Devil Slaughter rankings at all. So Guo Ran knew that if he didn't use some trump cards, he wouldn't be able to get into the top 10 again. However, Long Chen didn't let him use those trump cards. Killing these devil creatures one at a time was too slow. You want to get a high ranking this much? Long Chen suddenly eyed Guo Ran. Of course, I'm fighting for the glory of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, the Dragonblood Legion, and of course for you, said Guo Ran solemnly. If your eyes weren't so wretched, I might believe you. We don't need you to fight for our glory. Fight for yourself. I have a method that can allow you to quickly get in the top 10, but it might be a bit dangerous. Do you want to try it? In this world, there is a responsibility, a duty that cannot be shirked. For the Zhuangshan Dao sect, the Dragonblood Legion, for boss. All right, is there any need to act like that when there aren't outsiders around? This might be a bit dangerous but I feel like you shouldn't have a problem with your armor. However, you must promise me that unless your life is threatened, you won't use your trump cards to show off. Warned Long Chen again. Yes, boss. Guo Ran smiled excitedly. Come with me. Long Chen brought Guo Ran through the sea of devil creatures. Golden flames were around him, setting anything that came close to him ablaze. However, these devil creatures didn't die and instead ran away from him. At the end, where the spatial channel was, Long Chen came to a pause. Boss, are you going to unleash another big move? Guo Ran looked at him excitedly. The devil creatures were the most concentrated here. If he could kill them all, he would definitely rise in ranking. Yes, I am. Summon your armor and activate its strongest defensive state. I'm going to unleash a big move. All right. Guo Ran directly summoned divine runes that revolved around his golden armor, protecting him. Prepare yourself. Here comes my big move. Long Chen ruthlessly kicked Guo Ran in the butt. Guo Ran yelped as Long Chen's kick sent him flying into the spatial channel. Chapter 1696 Guo Ran's Distress Translator Born to be what the fuck? Boss, you conned me. Guo Ran let out a startled cry not having expected Long Chen to suddenly kick him into the spatial channel. When he passed through the opening, he immediately felt like millions of giant mountains were crushing him from every direction. Guo Ran hastily sent more energy to his protective runes, but he still felt that terrifying pressure. This channel was supposed to be a one-way street. The reason it had been done like that was to maximize the channel's strength. A one-way channel was ten times more stable than one that went both ways. Although magical arts could go through, physical bodies couldn't. Furthermore, even magical arts couldn't be used so easily. It would consume a terrifying amount of spiritual strength to send them through without them weakening from the pressure of the channel. Long Chen's previous attacks, especially the Nine Star Beads, had taken up a huge amount of his spiritual strength to send through the channel. This kind of consumption was too much. To make sure a magical arts power didn't drop while going through this long, crushing channel was too much for him to do repeatedly. If he did, it would affect his combat power, so he hadn't added any more attacks after the nine star beads. Even with his powerful physical body, he didn't dare to test going in. However, Guo Ran was different. He had his armor protecting him. Even if he didn't succeed, he would at most be injured. He would run as soon as he felt his armor was at its limit. However, if he succeeded, Long Chen knew Guo Ran far too well. This risk was definitely worth it. Guo Ran coughed up blood despite his powerful golden armor and his body having been upgraded by the blood essence stone. Just as he felt that he couldn't hold on any longer and was preparing to turn back, he saw that he wasn't far from the exit on the other side. There were blood-colored devil creatures packed there. This variety hasn't appeared outside yet. They must be worth a lot of kill points. Fuck. I'm risking it. This suffering will definitely lead to some amazing posing. Guo Ran clenched his teeth. Certain pieces of his armor on his butt lifted up, and fierce flames spat out of them. He shot out like a cannonball. 
The closer he got, the greater the spatial pressure grew. He repeatedly coughed up blood, but he stubbornly persevered. This channel was extremely strange. Going with the flow was easy, but going against it brought with it an incredible amount of pressure. Guo Ran, what makes you so brave? What makes you risk your life to advance? What is your motivation? I'll tell you, it's showing off, showing off, showing off. I want to make sure the entire world remembers my name. Guo Ran roared, refusing to give up even as his armor began to distort and cracks appeared in his shoulder blades. Suddenly, with an explosive sound, he reached the end. The terrifying pressure instantly vanished. He was delighted to see that the devil creatures were packed at a greater density than on the other side. They were crazily attacking the border of the spatial channel, wanting to break its defensive runes. Each time one of its defensive runes shattered, the channel would grow a bit larger, and more of the devil creatures would charge through. Only once he was through did he see a bunch of blood-colored humanoids. They looked the same size as humans as well. Their bodies were covered in blood runes. They had large claws and were attacking the channel with immense power. Those devil creatures immediately erupted into furious roars when they saw Guo Ran appear. Explode seeing so many devil creatures charging at him. Guo Ran was shocked and immediately tossed out hundreds of bombs. Consecutive explosive sounds rang out, blowing the devil creatures to blood mist. At the same time, fragments flew out in every direction. When those fragments pierced the blood-colored humanoids, they let out howls and fell to the ground. Fuck. What did I just do? These fragments are so powerful. Ugh. Just kill me now. Guo Ran had tossed out hundreds of the bombs that Long Chen had told him to keep as trump cards to protect their lives. Originally, he had made over 8,000 of these bombs. According to Long Chen's instructions, he was supposed to keep at least 3,000 for the worst case scenario. However, while he had been showing off, he had forgotten about those instructions. By the time he had remembered, he had only had 500 some left. The other bombs had been used repeatedly. Hence, they had lost all their killing power. Now, Guo Ran was using half of the precious fresh bombs that hadn't been used yet, and their power was so immense that all the devil creatures around him were killed. That wasted killing power made Guo Ran want to weep. How could you not listen to boss? Guo Ran, you really are a pig. Cursed Guo Ran. If he had kept his bombs for now, wouldn't he easily take first place? He glanced at his jade plate and let out a painful howl that was even more pain than those devil creatures. With this one attack, he had taken ninth place. This channel had a strange ability to distinguish the power of the devil creatures. The stronger species needed to wait until their attacks weakened the channel to get through it. This kind of step-by-step -step increase in power had been designed by the ancient experts of the human race who had left a buffer for their descendants. This allowed their descendants to train without making the devil abyss too dangerous. That was the original intent of the experts that had created this channel. As for how the formations were able to distinguish the combat power of these devil creatures, outsiders didn't know. The wisdom of the ancients wasn't something people of the current era could comprehend. Others were still handling the ones that got through the channel. But now Guo Ran had been tossed into the source and was crazily killing the devil creatures. More bombs flew out of him. He was constantly gathering the fragments and making new bombs. These bombs had two layers, with the outer layer preventing outside forces from destroying them. They were simple in design, and it only took a few seconds to pack an empty bomb with fragments. Yet, the endless tide of devil creatures here poured toward him. Sometimes, he didn't have time to throw a bomb and was struck by an attack from those blood-colored humanoids. What shocked Guo Ran was that their sharp claws contained even greater power than a rank 9 celestial, and he couldn't allow their attacks to indiscriminately land on him. Most shocking of all was that their claws, despite not managing to penetrate his armor, left behind long marks on it. This armor was made of the best ancestral item material and was composed of multiple ancestral items. It could be said that it was the strongest armor at the ancestral item level. It could even block an attack from a quasi-divine item. Ordinary ancestral items wouldn't even be able to leave a mark on his armor. However, these creatures' claws were. They were shockingly powerful. Come, have a taste of how amazing your daddy Guo Ran is. Guo Ran didn't dare to be careless. 
He increased his speed, dodging and weaving within this limited space, constantly unleashing his bombs. Seeing his kill points rapidly rising, he was extremely motivated. Long Chen, on the other side, saw that Guo Ran had made it through. He sighed with relief. Going over there was difficult, but coming back was easy. Guo Ran could return whenever he wanted. Long Chen, where did you send Guo Ran? Seeing Long Chen return when he and Guo Ran had mysteriously charged away, Men Chi asked him curiously. Guo Ran's ranking was rapidly rising. I sent him somewhere he can profit. Let him show off as much as he wants there. Conveniently, he can be a sentry for us. Laughed Long Chen. Guo Ran was fighting intensely, while the fight on the outside was just as intense. However, the forts were like solid boulders, and no matter how many devil creatures appeared, they were unable to break the forts. Third, Guo Ran's amazing. Gu Yang let out a startled cry. It had only been a moment. But Guo Ran had reached third on the Devil Slaughter rankings. By this point, rising in ranking was difficult as the Devil creatures were growing incredibly powerful. Wanting to kill a huge number of them in one blow was growing increasingly difficult. Second, after four hours, Li Qi also let out a startled cry as Guo Ran's name surpassed Di Xin's. On the 14th hour, Guo Ran took first place. The Dragon Blood Legion cheered. Not only had Long Chen taken first, but even Guo Ran had done so. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples also cheered. Long Chen and Guo Ran took first place like they were just messing around. Within this world filled with slaughter as well as heroic ideology, their actions were especially shocking. To be able to fight alongside such peerless experts, what was there to be afraid of? What was there to fear? First. First place. Ah, but I want to die. Guo Ran was howling with grief as he dodged the devil creature's attacks. His heart was in pain. He had now taken first place, but as he used the fragments over and over again, their effect continued to drop. Their killing power was greatly reduced now. Guo Ran was filled with regret. If he hadn't wasted so many before and had instead unleashed them here, he would have far surpassed everyone else. He wouldn't even be able to see them behind him. However, there was no medicine for regret in this world. When the bombs lost all effect, he would only be able to fight with his dual sabers. Boom. Suddenly, space shook violently. A group of black figures appeared, causing Guo Ran's expression to change. Chapter 1697 Golden Claw Blood Devil Translator Born to be Boom Just as the Dragon Blood Legion and the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples were fighting very steadily, a golden figure flew out of the distant channel. Everyone jumped in shock. That figure was Guo Ran. The current Guo Ran looked to be in a very sorry state. His originally majestic golden armor was now covered in scars. Boss. Boss. Guo Ran flew straight toward Long Chen. What is it? Boss. Some terrifying monsters have appeared inside. Their power is so great that even one against one. I can't beat them. I almost lost my life. Take a look. Guo Ran pointed to a hole in the shoulder of his armor. Blood was slowly flowing out. Shockingly, this injury was caused by a claw. Guo Ran's armor was composed of dozens of ancestral items that were joined together into a perfect formation. Damaging any area meant having to break the defenses of all the other regions. It was completely unexpected for Guo Ran's armor to be pierced straight through by a claw. At first, only one of those golden clawed monsters appeared. I activated the mechanism on my chest that caught it by surprise and heavily injured it. That allowed me to kill it. However, then five of them appeared at once. I almost pissed myself. I ran for my life. If Guo Ran had been surrounded by those monsters, his armor wouldn't have lasted very long before being destroyed by their claws. Without his armor, he would be doomed. What did they look like? Asked Long Chen. They are very similar to humans. Their bodies are covered in blood-colored runes, and they have a bone spur on their back and a horn on their head. Their golden claws are giant and extremely sharp. Then it should be the golden claw blood devils from legends. Long Chen nodded. The legend said that the golden claw blood devils were a high-level race amongst the devil race. They weren't mindless killing machines like the devil creatures they were currently killing. They had their own intelligence. Their golden claws grew straight out of their flesh. Those claws were their divine ability. 
possessing a special power that allowed them to break through defenses, adding on their power and speed. Their combat power was not one bit inferior to an Empyrean. Guo Ran wouldn't even be worried about an ordinary Empyrean, but the Golden Claw Blood Devil's claws could tear through his defense. Without his armor, he had no confidence. If the Golden Claw Blood Devils have appeared, then the channel won't be able to endure for much longer before it grows again. It really is an unprecedented eruption. We've entered our great era, but our opponents have entered their great era as well. We can only face them head on, said Long Chen. Originally, he had been hoping to bring back more of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples when this was over. However, that hope vanished. Brothers of the Dao sect, when the big fight starts, we will take the front. The Dragonblood warriors will defend you, while you are to defend the final wall behind you. Do you understand what that wall signifies? If it is broken, the devil creatures will flood the channel. They will charge their way into all the various large sects. Once they break their seals, they'll slaughter countless innocent people. The Eastern Xuan region and the Martial Heaven continent as a whole will face a calamity. I think that all of you know what must be done. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, don't worry. We will also be powerful heroes. We aren't cowards afraid of death. I've already had the blood of so many of my brothers spill on this ground. We won't let their blood be spilled for nothing. Even if we have to die, we will defend this channel. We won't give a single inch. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples roared, their blood burning inside them. Having seen the disciples beside them die one by one, they were filled with fury and killing intent. They had just learned how to trust their companions. This was their first time in trusting their lives to others. Many of them had sacrificed their lives so that others could live. That filled the survivors with grief as well as hatred for these devil creatures. Explosive sounds suddenly came from the distant channel. It grew larger once more, and an endless flood of blood-colored devil creatures poured onto the battlefield. These blood-colored devil creatures were even more bloodthirsty and ruthless. Their fellow devil creatures that were in their way would be directly trampled or torn apart to make a path for themselves. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Wan Er, Cloud, Ruian, Li Qi, Mingguan, Push the battle line forward and guard the entrance. Together, you will hold back the flood. Guo Ran, get out your giant crossbow and support them from long range. Pay special attention to the Golden Claw Blood Devils. Gu Yang, you led the Dragon Blood Legion and create the second defensive line. Zifeng, I'll leave the Golden Claw Blood Devils to you. Their attacks are extremely sharp, and they're fast. Take care. Long Chen quickly made a new deployment in the face of this change. All right, Yu Zifeng, who had yet to fight, nodded. Without waiting for Meng Qi or the others, he sprang forward to the very front of the battlefield, targeting one of the Golden Claw Blood Devils. That Golden Claw Blood Devil roared and slashed its claws at him. Its immense power and its terrifying speed made its claws emit an ear-piercing whistle. Golden Light exploded. It was like space could not endure the power of its claws. The distant Empyreans were stunned. This Golden Claw Blood Devil's attack seemed to be on par with one of their full-strength attacks based on its pressure. Within that blinding golden light, a sword came out of its sheath. A flash of sword light appeared. The golden light instantly vanished. The roaring Golden Claw Blood Devil stiffened, and its body split into two halves. It was evenly split from head to toe. Even its claw was perfectly cut in two. That precision was unbelievable. That golden claw blood devil was killed. Yu Zifen was already gone before its body began to split apart. Charging toward another golden claw blood devil. People only saw another flash of sword light before that golden claw blood devil was also killed. Yu Zifen moved toward the third golden claw blood devil. What terrifying attack power. No wonder it's said that sword cultivators are number one in terms of offense. The sword is his god. That's a true sword cultivator. Other than Long Chen, everyone present was stunned by Yu Zifeng's attacks. Those terrifying golden claw blood devils were unable to resist in front of him. Even Guo Ran, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, Gu Yang, and the others familiar with Yu Zifeng had not expected his attacks to have reached such a level. Zifeng's sword arts have once more improved. This offensive power truly is stunning, sighed Long Chen emotionally. 
the reason Yu Zifan was so strong was because of his firm and unyielding drive as well as his infatuation with the sword. Yu Zifeng's current sword was not an ancestral item. It wasn't even a king item. It was just an ordinary weapon. It was something he had obtained from Ling Yunzi in the Heavenly Sword Gate. Ling Yunzi had said that true sword cultivators didn't rely on a divine weapon to improve their attacks. That was a kind of blasphemy to the sword. Yu Zifeng was holding a completely normal sword, yet his attacks were unstoppable. It was a kind of incomprehensible divine ability. Following Yu Zifeng, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and the others also charged forward. While passing a suitable location, Li Qi slammed his hands on the ground, summoning a square platform that soared into the sky. Guo Ran flew onto it, placing a giant golden crossbow on it. It was dozens of meters wide. This was a bow he had made along with his armor. It represented his highest achievements on the forging Dao. Both the armor and the crossbow were the masterpieces he was most pleased with. Li Qi had given him a good platform to shoot from. Here, his arrows could reach anywhere on the battlefield. This crossbow was something he had named Army Breaker. So its full name was the Army Breaker Divine Bow. In reference to his old bow, the Army Breaker Divine Bow's runes lit up and a ray of golden light shot out, striking a golden claw blood devil in the distance. It was too fast for anyone to react to. People were only able to see a flash of golden light before that golden claw blood devil exploded. It was impossible to track the trajectory of the arrow. This crossbow was an extremely sinister invention of Guo Ran's. It combined spatial and illusionary runes. By the time people saw the arrow leave the bow, the arrow would have already struck. That was because Guo Ran would activate the illusion to make it seem he was shooting, when in reality, he had already shot. Due to the concealment of the illusion runes, there was the misperception of a fraction of a second. That slight difference was enough for his attack to land before others could see his strike. When Guo Ran had first made a demonstration for Long Chen, Long Chen had praised Guo Ran for this invention, saying it was a divine conning ability. One that would kill people without them even realizing how they died. Fuck. So a golden claw blood devil is actually worth 50 million points. Guo Ran was delighted to realize this. While he had killed another one before on the other side of the channel. It had been too dangerous and he hadn't had time to look. Just as he said this. A hand clapped him on the back of his head. Long Chen's row rang out. Focus on the task at hand. Long Chen had appeared behind Guo Ran without him even realizing it. Seeing that this little fellow was actually so bored as to take a peek at the devil slaughter rankings, Long Chen had an urge to throw him back to the other side of the channel. Oh, my bad. Guo Ran hastily focused himself. He slowly turned the army breaker divine bow. Due to its immense size, the turning wasn't so nimble, and he needed it to be immobile to be accurate. Chu Yao, Tang Wan or Lu Ruian. Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were unleashing large area attacks, limiting the movements of the Golden Claw Blood Devils. That gave Guo Ran enough time to attack. He killed one with each arrow, delighting him. Boss, take a look. Have I managed to take back first place? Shouted Guo Ran excitedly as he shot. Chapter 1698 Fighting for the Front of the Pack Translator Born to be Guo Ran had been first. But after his shrapnel fragments had lost effect, his ranking had rapidly fallen since he had relied purely on his dual sabers to kill. Despite how hard he had tried, his ranking had still fallen, driving him crazy. By the time Guo Ran had come out of the channel, he had fallen to fifth place. That couldn't be blamed on him. He had already done very well. The only thing that could be said was that his competitors were all monsters. Now that he was killing a golden claw blood devil every few seconds with his arrows, he should be able to quickly climb above others. After all, each golden claw blood devil was worth 50 million kill points. As for one of those ordinary blood color devil creatures, they were only worth a thousand kill points. One golden claw blood devil was equivalent to slaughtering all the blood color devil creatures here. With Guo Ran's reminder, Long Chen looked at his jade plate. When he saw the rankings, his pupils shrank. He was silent for a long time. Boss, did I manage to take first place or not? Asked Guo Ran. You've already fallen to rank 21. No, rank 22. 
What Guo Ran was so shocked that he missed his shot. He hastily released another arrow, killing a golden claw blood devil being restricted by Lu Ruian. Boss, how is that possible? Long Chen looked at the expert in first place. He felt a slight chill. The blood kill halls Dong Mingyu. If it was an expert from somewhere else, he wouldn't be too shocked. However, this name made him feel a vague sense of unease. The blood kill hall did not possess area attacks. They killed their targets one by one. This Dong Mingyu had to have been waiting for this moment. They were targeting the Golden Claw Blood Devils, using their single target killing arts to quickly eliminate them. It had only been two hours since the third eruption started, but Dong Mingyu's kill points had surpassed 19 billion. That meant she had to have killed close to 400 Golden Claw Blood Devils in two hours. These Golden Claw Blood Devils were on the same level as Empyreans, yet this Dong Mingyu killed them so easily. Considering his enmity with the Blood Kill Hall and how he had destroyed their statue of the Killing God, Long Chen was mortal enemies with them. He might not be afraid of them, but he was worried about them targeting the people beside him. However, knowing that the Blood Kill Hall had such a terrifying figure meant that he was at least prepared. It was better than not knowing at all. When Long Chen saw second place, a strange expression crept over his face. A beautiful face appeared in his mind. It was a face that was so perfect that it shouldn't exist in this world. Even each hair of her eyebrows was perfectly symmetrical. There was no flaw to pick out. She was a woman whose beauty could cause the downfall of a nation. She was a woman who was merciless, becoming hostile in the blink of an eye. She was a woman who was a vicious, ruthless killer. She was a woman whose thoughts Long Chen could never read. Len Yuian, there was no prefix to this name. There was only an image of a fierce human skeleton. That was the mark of the corrupt path. Len Yuian was actually participating in this battle of the Devil Abyss. Hu Jinying had said that even the corrupt path would participate. They normally wouldn't attack the weaker devil creatures and would instead kill the strongest ones to get first place. That was to suppress the righteous path. Back then, Long Chen hadn't understood. Only later had he learned that if the Devil Abyss's creatures managed to charge onto the continent, the most dangerous ones weren't the strong ones, but instead the weak ones that charged out in hordes. The powerful ones would be quickly found by divine items and killed. However, the weaker ones were limitless, and if they charged onto the continent, it would be a cataclysmic blow. Their numbers were too great. Even if only one slipped through the net, they could destroy a whole city. So even though the corrupt path was enemies with the righteous path, they would come in to kill the powerful devil creatures. It was a competition of morale. It was a mark of their future reputation and prestige. And that was very important to any large power. Len Yuian was second, with over 19 billion kill points as well. She was right on Dong Mingyu's tail. However, their kill points were crazily rising with every second showing how quickly they were killing the Golden Claw Blood Devils. Monstrous. Absolutely monstrous. What am I supposed to do? Guo Ran was enraged. He had thought that he was competing for first place, only to find out he had been completely trampled. Shut up and get to work. Long Chen kicked Guo Ran in the butt. Even at this time, he was competing over such useless things. Lu Ruian, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur and the others were all fighting with their full power. They were using their strongest area attacks. Guo Ran shot arrows whenever he saw a good chance, alleviating quite a bit of pressure on them. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan controlled the terrain of the battlefield. As soon as a dangerous situation appeared, they would work together, causing the ground to crumble along with a portion of the devil creatures. They staggered the Golden Claw Blood Devils, if dozens of them charged at once. It would be dangerous. With Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Lu Ruian, Cloud, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan working together, the majority of the Golden Claw Blood Devils were stopped and killed. Only a small portion of them managed to get by them and reach the second line. The Dragon Blood Warriors, Gu Yang was there, picking off the Golden Claw Blood Devils. Some of them still managed to charge into the regular Dragon Blood Warriors. However, they were easily killed by three Dragonblood Warriors working together. The Dragonblood Warriors were incredibly powerful now. As for the ordinary blood-colored devil creatures, they were like cabbage rolling toward them. 
They were killed without the slightest effort. The dragon blood warriors were unstoppable. This scene fired up the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Those powerful blood-colored devil creatures were nothing in front of them. Even the golden claw blood devils could be instantly killed by them. This was a real fight. Compared to the dragon blood legion, their fighting was child's play. Affected by that sight, the Dao sect's disciples grew more confident and began to fight like them. Even if they died, being able to fight in such a battle meant that they hadn't wasted their lives. Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Wang Zhen, Mu Qingxuan, Su Mo, and the other Empyreans were fighting with the Dragonblood warriors, helping them defend the second line. Even when the Golden Claw Blood Devils managed to get in, the defensive line didn't shake at all. The Dao sect's disciples worked with the forts to attack the blood-colored devil creatures that got close. It was incredibly easy for them. The Empyreans fighting alongside the Dragonblood warriors couldn't help but feel a kind of regret. They regretted not running into Long Chen earlier. Although the Dragonblood warriors were just rank 9 Celestials, their combat power and killing efficiency were many times greater than theirs. This kind of life and death battle could rapidly mature and strengthen people. If they had the Dragonblood warriors killing power or combat experience, Perhaps they could have also charged forward to the front to fight alongside Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and the others, handling a whole region on their own. Although they also had an urge to compete for the Devil Slaughter rankings, they knew inside that they didn't have that power. Without the power to kill the Golden Claw Blood Devils in one attack, it was too dangerous. If they were attacked by three Golden Claw Blood Devils at once, they might lose their lives. What inspired them the most was that Long Chen was just standing on the platform, overlooking the battlefield with a calm expression. That not only increased their confidence, but it also raised their expectations. They even hoped that the devil creatures would get a bit stronger so that they could witness Long Chen's attacks. To use the Dragonblood Warriors' words, only when they saw the boss fighting was it a real fight. They were just fighting a small scuffle in comparison. If Long Chen knew what those people were thinking, he would definitely be caught between laughter and tears. A life and death battle was not a show. Long Chen was currently looking at his jade plate, keeping track of the devil slaughter rankings. Len Yuian had now taken first place, with Dong Mingyu following in second. They were both at 20 billion kill points, and their names were constantly flashing as they overtook each other. Dong Mingyu would be first place for a moment then it would be Len Yuian. There had never been such intense competition for first place. Third was an expert from the Xuan Beasts. When he saw that name, Long Chen shook his head. True immortal Jiaoki. In front of his name was a Xuan character. This person was from the Xuan Beasts. However, for him to dare to call himself true immortal, he was definitely too arrogant. It was said that the titles of true immortals, heavenly immortals, and such were given to people on the verge of ascending back in the immortal era. Only experts that had touched upon the barrier to godhood or immortality would be given such a name. This was the Devil Abyss, and those that could enter were only at the Soul Transformation Realm. For someone in the Soul Transformation Realm to dare to call themselves true immortal, it was unknown if he was just too arrogant or trying to insult the human race. He's probably just another idiot. Long Chen's lips curled into a sneer. Just from this name, he knew that this fellow was another idiot who considered everyone else beneath him. A normal person wouldn't give themselves such a name. Long Chen continued looking. He smiled. Mo Nian was quite powerful. He was ranked fourth, and his kill points were close behind True Immortal Jiaoki. True Immortal Jiaoki was at 14 billion 700 million kill points while Mo Nian was at 14 billion 500 million kill points. Work hard. Beat that idiot. Long Chen cheered for Mo Nian before continuing to look. Fifth was someone from the central Xuan region called Zhao Zuhan. This name was rather genderless so he couldn't tell if they were a man or woman. Whoever it was, their kill points were at 12 and a half billion. There was quite a distance from Mo Nian and true immortal Jiaoki. Catching up would be difficult. Right now. First and second place were constantly changing, while everyone else had been thrown into the distance. Mo Nian and True Immortal Jiaoki were already very far from them, while fifth place was also very far from the two of them. At this time, 
a person's true power was shown. There were no longer any tricks available. When Long Chen saw sixth place, he couldn't help being startled. How had he appeared again? Chapter 1699 Gate to the Devil World Translator Born to be Hu Feng this name had appeared once again. He had previously managed to threaten Xia Chen's position, but not long after, he had silently vanished from the rankings. Long Chen felt it was somewhat inconceivable for his name to reappear at such a time. Logically, the people dominating the rankings now had to be people skilled in killing single targets very quickly. Area or group attacks were not very effective at this time, as the Golden Claw Blood Devils were too strong to be killed that way. That was why Long Chen couldn't understand what this fellow was doing. If he was strong, his name would have stayed at the front the entire time. If he wasn't strong, then there was no way for his name to appear now. Long Chen continued looking. Seventh place was the previous first place, Xia Chen. His kill points had just broken past 10 billion. He was clearly lagging behind now. It was unknown if he didn't have the power or if he was holding back. Experts on this level mostly had divine items on them. If they activated those divine items, their power would multiply by several times. However, that wasn't something that could be used for such a long battle. They wouldn't use such measures until the final moment. One reason was to keep it as a trump card to compete for rankings while another reason was to keep it as a life-saving measure. Although Long Chen couldn't see the situation with other people, he knew that they had to be fighting with their own power. No idiot would use divine items at this time. Eighth place was Yu Zifeng. It went without saying that sword cultivators were truly terrifying. Those golden claw blood devils were all killed in just one attack from him. Their powerful flesh was as weak as tofu in front of Yu Zifeng's sword. Furthermore, Long Chen noticed a mysterious light enveloping Yu Zifeng's sword. Back in the Grand Han, that light had also been present. However, it had only covered the blade, not the entire sword. That light made his sword incomparably sharp. It was unstoppable. It was like his sword had been blessed. That made Long Chen even more suspicious that this world really had a sword god in it. Yu Zifeng was currently the strongest one on the battlefield. Almost half the Golden Claw Blood Devils that appeared were killed by him. Ninth place was someone from the ancient races, Xiang Yunfei. It seemed they were also a terrifying expert. Their name hadn't appeared before, but they had charged into the top 10 at this time. Their kill points were narrowly behind Yu Zifeng's. That made Long Chen sigh. The Martial Heaven Continent was truly filled with hidden dragons and crouching tigers. Even someone like Yu Zifeng had powerful competitors that might surpass him at any time. The ancient race's experts couldn't be underestimated. Tenth place was the Pill Fairy. That surprised Long Chen. He still didn't know much about the Pill Fairy's true combat powers. If she had managed to enter the top ten without using the Danite Furnace, then she had to have been conserving her power in the Jade Lake Sacred Land, or her combat power had to have risen greatly after returning. 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th place were all from the central Xuan region. In 15th place, he saw Yi's Hikyu's name and then another large batch of experts from the central Xuan region. He also saw Zi Yan's name in 21st place. Guo Ran had originally been 21st, and then Zi Yan had taken his place. Ranks 20 to rank 50 were mostly from the central Xuan region. It could be seen that the central Xuan region was truly a land filled with experts. In 53rd place, he saw Chu Yao's name. After all, Chu Yao and Lu Ruyan's kills counted for one person. Even though Lu Ruyan was focused more on defending, the two of them still managed to enter the top 100. When Long Chen saw the person in 62nd place, a faint sneer came across his face. It was Di Xin. Previously, he had almost taken first but now he had fallen this far. With his character, he was probably so angry that he might vomit up the male cow milk again. That was especially true since he was now chasing Guo Ran's butt. Guo Ran just happened to be ranked 61st. Having fought against Di Xin, Long Chen knew that he was a water attribute expert, one who used his powerful domain to crush his opponents. In a one against one, his opponents would suffer as soon as they were caught in his domain. As for his group killing arts, they might be excellent against some ants, 
but there was no way to use them against the powerful Golden Claw Blood Devils. He would have to face them one on one. His divine item had been destroyed, while his precious flesh-eating fish had also been poisoned to death. Long Chen could imagine how furious he was. There was no one else from the Dragon Blood Legion in the top 100. As for his own name, he didn't know where it had fallen to, but he was too lazy to check. Tang Wanner and Meng Chi had a decent ranking, while Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan weren't even able to get in the top 200. However, to even have their name appear in the midst of all these monstrous geniuses was already not bad. In any case, as long as one person from the Dragon Blood Legion could occupy a position in the top 10, then Ku Jin Ying's mission would be accomplished. At the very least, she and Li Xiangxuan wouldn't have to be too worried based on the current rankings. After looking over the names on the Devil Slaughter rankings, Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. No wonder Ku Jin Ying had said that the central Xuan region was where geniuses gathered. Seeing so many of the top names being from the central Xuan region was quite a blow. As time passed, more and more of the Golden Claw Blood Devils appeared. Originally, only one of them would appear for every 10,000 blood color devil creatures, but after a few hours, their proportion increased by 10 times. The pressure on the battlefield grew increasingly great. Boom, boom, boom. Suddenly, explosive sounds rang out and the entire world quivered. It was like heaven and earth were about to collapse. Long Chen looked toward the channel. His eyes blazed with light. As expected, the Golden Claw Blood Devils weren't the strongest opponents this time. There were even stronger monsters crazily attacking the channel. The channel's runes were rapidly dimming. Crack. The channel completely exploded. It vanished, leaving behind a giant whirlpool that was like a gate that had been opened wide. The channel has crumbled. It seems the five regions will have to face the gate to the devil world directly Long Chen's expression turned serious. He could see an endless army of the devil world from the gate. Originally, there should have only been one gate to this world. Long Chen had no idea what had happened for another gate to appear here. After all, according to reason, this gate should have been located in the central Xuan region, and then a formation would distribute the devil creatures to the other four regions. However, now that the spatial channel had vanished, what replaced it was another gate. In other words, they would be directly facing the devil world's army. The gate shuddered, spreading ripples that blew apart the ground. A vast killing intent filled the air. Everyone, retreat, shouted Long Chen. The dragon blood warriors pulled back, shrinking their formation. Men Chi, Chu Yao, and the others also fell back, protecting the dragon blood warriors. Guo Ran also left his platform. Now, the only one left standing at the front was Long Chen, who stared coldly at the gate to the devil world. The gate was a translucent whirlpool. He could see an endless horde within it. The devil creatures inside had a pair of giant bat-like wings. Other than that, they looked similar to humans. Their bodies were large and they held bone swords. Each of them had a single blood-colored rune shining in their eyes that was constantly revolving. A frightening bloody air immediately assaulted the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples, the winged devils. However, they're not the same variant Long Chen recognized these devils. Back in the Jiuli secret realm in the eastern wasteland, he had seen the skeletons of the winged devils. However, those winged devils' skeletons had been giant. In Devil Spirit Mountain, he had also encountered the winged devils. Their bodies had been about the size of an average person. These devil creatures were 50% larger than a normal person. The blood-colored rune in their eyes was also extremely strange. Now, Long Chen was experiencing just how many varieties of winged devils there were. As for who was stronger and who was weaker, it couldn't be judged based on their size. Regretfully, Yu Ziaokian wasn't here. With her knowledge, she would definitely be able to tell what kind of variety they were. The rumbling and explosive sounds from the gate grew weaker. It would take some time to stabilize. Before it was stabilized, neither Long Chen nor the opposing devil army could cross through. Inferior human race, I see the fear in your eyes. A cowardly, filthy race like you should never have existed in this world. What shocked the dragon blood warriors and the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples was that these devil creatures were able to speak. Their intelligence was not inferior to humans at all. Long Chen smiled disdainfully. 
He suddenly took out Devil Moon and unleashed a sharp saber image at the spatial gate. Shockingly, this attack passed through the unstable gate and crashed through the Devil Army. A dozen winged devils were slain. As expected, the sixth form of Split the Heavens contains the power to pass through all barriers. It really is a divine technique. Long Chen had just wanted to try and see if the sixth form of Split the Heavens could break through the restrictions of this spatial gate, but he hadn't expected it to actually work. Long Chen had unleashed an attack that had passed through the unstable spatial gate and killed the winged devil that had spoken. The dragon blood warriors exploded into cheering. Long Chen was finally fighting. Chapter 1700 Empyrean Winged Blood Devils Translator Born to be the sixth form of Split the Heavens had many profundities. Long Chen knew how to use it, but he didn't know the reason why it worked the way it did. When he had asked questions about its principles to the old man, the old man's explanation had been very vague. After Long Chen had asked a few too many questions, the old man angrily beat him, telling him to do it as the old man was teaching him to do it. Where did so many questions come from? At that time, Long Chen realized that even the old man didn't know the principles behind this technique. He would need to figure them out himself. Long Chen's attack infuriated the winged devils. They roared and charged forward. The ones at the front were instantly blown to bits upon striking the spatial gate. The rest hastily retreated. However, in just that one instant, thousands of them had been killed by the explosive spatial power. That made them roar even more furiously. Don't be so impatient. Once the spatial gate is opened, annihilate the human race. They might be filthy pigs, but their blood is the best sacrificial offering suddenly. A voice rang out, and it caused the winged devils to calm down. A black-haired man in violet robes appeared amongst the winged devils. As soon as he appeared, the other winged devils went respectfully silent. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples looked at him in shock. Other than his eyes having blood-colored runes. This man looked the same as the human race. However, his aura was absolutely terrifying. They could vaguely see some blood-colored images appear behind him. It looked like a roaring fiend emotionlessly looking down on them. This fellow is powerful. Kuo Ran and the others jumped in shock. This man's aura was so oppressive that it was hard for them to breathe. Those ordinary winged devils already had somewhat frightening auras. But this black-haired man's aura was dozens of times stronger than theirs maybe even over a hundred times stronger. Even experts like Chu Yao and Gu Yang felt a chill on their backs. Behind him was a large group of people. If they weren't standing amongst the winged devils, Long Chen would have thought that they were humans. Seeing those people, Long Chen's pupils narrowed. Although he didn't know the cultivation realms of the winged devils, other than the black-haired man, the rest of these people had cultivation bases on the level of the life star realm. That feeling was clear. That made his heart shake. If those people really charged over, then Long Chen and the others might not be able to hold them. These winged devils were even stronger than the Golden Claw Blood Devils, and they were also different from the previous devil creatures. This was an army full of winged devils without any other species. If they all charged forward, then even with the Dragon Blood Legion's power, there might be huge casualties. As for the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples, they might all be wiped out. However, the thing that drew Long Chen's attention was a certain thing that the man had said. Sacrificial offering? Who are you offering sacrifice to? Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. They were viewed as sacrificial offerings. That made him grasp a possible crux of the situation. You'll know once you're dead, sneered the black-haired man. He didn't fall for Long Chen's bait. If you think you can learn secrets from my mouth. You should save your effort. All you need to know is that you are pigs that should obediently be killed. Struggling will only make things more painful for you. This man was so arrogant as to view them as pigs for the slaughter. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples' fury was instantly ignited. Then I won't waste the effort. Once I cut off your head and do a soul sark, I'll naturally know, said Long Chen indifferently. Ha ha ha, the man laughed. His laughter shook people's ears even through the spatial gate, causing the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples' expressions to change. He was truly terrifying. I can sense the aura of winged devils from your body. You must have killed winged devils before. However, amongst the over 3,600 branches of the winged devils, 
My Empyrean Winged Blood Devil race is ranked 7th. Based on your aura, you should be in the human race's soul transformation realm. That's the same level as my Winged Devil race's blood transformation realm. In other words, we're in the same realm. Once the spatial gate opens, I'll show you that in front of the Empyrean Winged Blood Devil race, humans are weaklings that can only wait to be killed. Following his sneering, the Winged Devils parted, revealing countless Empyrean Winged Blood Devils. It seemed that the ordinary Winged Devils were just cannon fodder, while the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils were the true fighters. Seeing the huge army of Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples despaired. If they were just fighting hundreds of thousands or even maybe a few million, they would still have the ability to fight. However, an endless number of winged devils could be seen here. Their numbers had to be counted in the hundreds of millions. This was a hopeless battle. Even Gu Yang, Meng Qi, and the others gasped. Although the battle had yet to start, just based on their auras, the ordinary winged devils were already stronger than the golden claw blood devils. On top of that were the Empyrean Winged Blood Devils, which were even stronger than the regular Winged Devils. They were the true elites. Even the Dragonblood Legion who had fought alongside Long Chen for so long had never faced such a huge power disparity. There's no way for us to win, unless we draw them above ground and have the Patriarch use the Zhuanshan Tower to kill them. There's no chance. Hua Shia was pale. Everyone's nerves were tense. That's not a possibility. If we fail to defend this location, only a portion will follow us back to the Zhuanshan Dao sect the rest will go to the other sects. They'll rapidly spread out. Do you feel like those sects would be able to handle them? If even one sect can't stop them, then a giant horde of devil creatures will rampage across the continent. Long Chen won't allow such a thing, said Meng Qi. There were many sects connected to this channel. Some of those had been destroyed by Long Chen. The devil creatures could charge right through them. Drawing all of them to the Zhuanshan Dao sect was impossible. Furthermore, they weren't mindless creatures. They had the same level of intelligence as humans. Don't worry, Long Chen definitely has a way to handle them. Don't you see that he's still calm? Pointed out Meng Qi. They looked toward Long Chen who was still standing on the platform. Seeing his calm expression, the immense pressure on their hearts lightened. Long Chen was a godlike existence in the eyes of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. As long as he was present, anything was possible. Time passed bit by bit until the remaining devil creatures on the battlefield were eliminated. There were mountains of corpses, and a thick scent of blood permeated the air. Suddenly, the whirlpool that was the spatial gate stopped revolving. It had been fully stabilized. The winged devils roared and charged forward. Kill the human race. The ones at the front were the winged devils. The runes in their eyes brightened, emitting a strange bloodthirsty light. Split the heavens six. Long Chen slashed his saber parallel to the ground. A huge black saber image appeared, one that looked like a crescent moon fang. The crescent fang grew larger and larger as it flew until it covered the majority of the battlefield. When it reached its peak state, heaven and earth rumbled. This was the true sixth form of split the heavens. The crescent fang slashed through the attacks of the winged devils and then devoured the winged devils themselves. This crescent fang was filled with a domineering will, one that said it was unstoppable, unbeatable. The first winged devils were all slain with this one attack. Boss is in eighth place, exclaimed Guo Ran. Aya he had just opened his mouth when Tang Wan Er kicked him. Even at this time, he was distracted by the devil slaughter rankings. Having wiped away the first wave of devil creatures with a single attack, Long Chen stood on the platform, facing the spatial gate like a divine guardian. Evil Moon, you're finally willing to help. Long Chen smiled. Evil Moon was finally no longer being a conner. Long Chen no longer needed to use his own energy to activate Evil Moon's divine runes, wasting a huge amount of spiritual yuan. Evil Moon was now unleashing a portion of its own power with Long Chen's attacks without him needing to give it more energy. Not only did this save Long Chen's energy, but it also raised the power of Split the Heavens to the peak. He, fight as you please. I'll accompany you. I guarantee that at the very least, you'll be able to fight ten times as long as before. Laughed Evil Moon filled with battle intent. It seemed that Evil Moon had also felt stifled for a long time and thirsted for a real battle. 
If Long Chen would have needed 10,000 units of spiritual yuan to unleash the sixth form of split the heavens before, then now with Evil Moon's assistance, he only needed 1,000. Furthermore, its power was even greater. That filled him with confidence. Long Chen attacked three more times, slaughtering all the winged devils that charged out. They didn't even have a chance. Boss is mighty. The Dragonblood warriors cheered along with the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Now that Long Chen had joined the fray, he exceeded all their expectations. On his own, he blocked millions and millions of winged devils. Human, don't get too arrogant roared an Empyrean winged blood devil. Thousands of them charged into the gate. 